Hello, welcome. Let me know when you guys can see me. What are y'all y'all talking about the <laughs> when y'all talking about the raincoat characters and Scooby Doo characters? I was wondering, I was like, I keep seeing like Scoob, Sheeny is Scoob. <laughs> I guess so. Who who would each character be? I feel like was that would that make um uh crap. I was like, who would that make uh <laughs> okay, anyways, thank you, welcome to the stream, and also thank you, uh, Lucky Cat Luna 2703 for the donation. Happy birthday, Weeby! Thank you. It feels great being 87. I'm so happy you you're doing the DLC. I just want to say maybe put a trigger warning when you do the Vivia DLC. Oh, okay, uh, sounds good. I guess um, should I go ahead and put it? Maybe I'll wait to put it in the title once we get to his DLC. I was thinking we'd probably do his and Yako's last because I think well, I was planning on honestly just going in order. I don't know if it matters. I guess it'd be Yako's last then instead of uh, Vivia's. But uh, yeah, sounds good. I guess Vivia do be talking about like sewer slide a lot. So. <laughs> I guess it do. <laughs> I guess it's not too shocking that, that uh, <laughs> that's what happened. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna play the DLCs today. They're all finally out and I'm excited. And it seems like a lot of people uh, like them based off of what I'm seeing in chat right now. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, do it in order. You know, I was like, I don't know if it totally matters, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, Chad isn't ready for Yako's DLC. I feel like his is gonna be really sad. I feel like I'll probably have to do with like, his wife and stuff, honestly, but we'll see. We'll start with Desert Hikos, though. That'll probably be <laughs> cute and like easier to do. <laughs> little, you know, a little easier to handle emotionally, <laughs> what I think. Because, you know, he's, he's a meanie dude, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, I don't really think I have too much else to say, so let's just go ahead and uh, get it started. Okay. It's nice to play this game too. Only autosave is enabled for sub-stories. Oh, okay. No, I can't save every two minutes? <laughs> no, what am I gonna do? I think there's like a description for Desi guys. I didn't really read it. Does it say something about like a cat though? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Like his would be like rescuing a cat or something stupid like that. The Vivia DLC, man, no spoilers, of course. Man, the Vivia DLC must be really sad. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. The Cassiopeia necklace is mine from- Okay, that was where the cat thing came from. Is this Persona? <laughs> from the nine-tailed cat. It's like, it's like a, a calling card. You're leaving a museum? I'm like, whoa, I didn't know he was playing Persona again. Whoa, is that Morgana? Damn it! Again! <laughs> Are this like little, I guess, cases they did? Next time you won't be so lucky! In between the stories? Catch you the first chance I get! Nice. It does feel good to be back in Kana Ward. This game was so fun. Charisma killed the cat. I guess we might not be seeing Yuma at all in these. I guess it kind of makes sense, but it kind of does seem like maybe it's um stories, I guess, that like little, you know, I guess uh stuff that they solved in the game before it concluded. Makes the sense. Phantom thief nine tailed cat returns, huh? <laughs> or wait, no, nine tailed cat. Oh my god, it's Naruto. Jewelry on display in the gemstone exhibit hosted by Hamaterasu Corporation was stolen late last night. Peacekeepers declared the culprit is serial thief nine tailed cat. The oh, no, investigation wait. should yield an arrest soon. Naruto's a fox, though. <laughs> I'm stupid, don't listen to me. They're so full of crap about arresting this guy. They have no idea how to deal with this. The newspapers are Amaterasu's lapdogs anyway. They're not gonna talk about how the thief managed to escape. The nine-tailed cat has been famous in this town for as long as I can remember. They're set to steal their target without hurting anyone. Okay. They always leave behind their signature card. <laughs> It does feel like Persona, honestly. <laughs> and it's always somebody who's kind of a douche that they steal from. The great thief who appears out of nowhere and vanishes without a trace. 
No one knows a thing about their identity. They probably are like a Robin Hood or something like that. They've been stealing expensive stuff from Amaterasu ever since they took control of this town. From what I heard, all the stolen goods are sold or donated to hospitals and oh, literally. Oh my god, literally, this, I, this guy's so base. I love you, Naruto Phantom Thief dude. So what, the Robin Hood or something? Yeah, literally. I don't like it one bit. Of course you wouldn't, Dezu. Everyone in town is a fan of the cat. The cat. Think about it. They're up against the peacekeepers. It's obvious why everybody supports them. I oh, thank you, Kurayuta, for the $2 donation. Appreciate it. Hey, what kind of detective talks like that? I'm disappointed in you, Chief. Thieves and detectives are natural enemies. Cat, dog, I don't care. A criminal's a criminal. <laughs> I got that light. Y'all give me type of justice. <laughs> when did you get all self-righteous about justice? <laughs> For real. Justice? This is about pride. Is he just jealous that this guy's popular? <laughs> he's like some girls talking about, oh, the cat's so cool. He's like, fuck that guy. I can be cool too. I can be a fan, fan of Thief too. What's the big deal anyway? Newspaper hasn't written a single <laughs> thing about me. There it is. I mean, I'm the ultimate <laughs> charismatic superstar detective. Unfortunately for you, the cat is way more popular and famous than you are. God, I heard he was hot too. Damn it. <laughs> this is humiliating. It's all your fault, Chief. <laughs> huh? Why me? <laughs> It's because you let these criminals roam around scot-free that this cat guy has grown so brazen. Well, I suppose you have a point there. But we've never received a single request to catch the cat. Well, now we will. And if no one's hired us, then it's not our job to get out there. Nonsense. That's a coward's excuse. Oh, freaking Desi, he's just so jealous. Say what you want, but don't go looking for trouble for no good reason. Even this art gallery case wasn't a formal request. A girl I met at a cafe works at the art gallery and told me something interesting. Okay. They say the cat's gonna appear at the gemstone exhibit. The peacekeepers working security are all on edge. Girl, I talked to him. By that, I mean harassed. <laughs> By that, I mean I harassed her until she told me. So, I promised her that if the thief really appeared, I'd catch him. At this rate, I'm gonna look like a liar. <laughs> What do you expect me to do? I don't do anything, dude. You're just gonna let the cat roam free? Leave a cat alone and it won't scratch you. You should really let it go. This thief isn't someone we can do anything about. Besides, they're a phantom thief who's never been caught by the peacekeepers and continues to toy with them. <laughs> okay, now they're just being really obvious about it. They're a phantom thief. Such a useless hit, hit, wink, that? wink. <laughs> I do feel like this game was uh, inspired by Persona. I guess kind of like a mixture of like Persona and Somnium, I guess. But I feel like I definitely see some inspiration from both of those games. <laughs> and the fact that there's a Phantom Thief, it's like, and now we know. Now we know you're being Fine. on the nose about it. I'll hatch my own plan to catch the cat, and you better believe all the credit will be mine and mine alone. <laughs> do you think hey, it's Alara's right. secret identity? Honestly, maybe. All I know is that Hilara would definitely at the very least be a huge fan. I don't know if the cat was, uh, I think the cat was Roman prowling before, you know, Hilara and them showed up, but Hilara is definitely a fan. Jeez. I hope he doesn't get into trouble. Okay. Can I bus system? I think I saw like a Desuhiko uh, note in here. Oh, it's gone. Thank you, Mega Shark CDA. Hi, Weeby. How are you doing today? Doing pretty good. Excited to check out these DLCs. See what they're all about. Thanks for the donation. Appreciate you. Got the backpack. Still, this phantom thief appears out of nowhere. How do I catch him? <laughs> Not a Lara's persona. I should gather information about the nine tailed cat around here. With that many tails, I'm sure I'll grab at least one. Okay, get to play as him. Seems like. All nice! Right. Time to ask everybody about the nine tailed cat. I think we can talk to this lady. Okay, I guess we can go up here. Time to get lost in Con I Ward. Yet again. Oh man. God, this backpack is so huge. A lot of people to talk to, too. Um, 
think I see. Oh wait, was that person down here? God dang it, I'm already getting lost again. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. Let's just have to look at this bottom map. <laughs> to try to help me out. Okay, let's talk to you. Sketchy person with a hood. I heard the nine-tailed cat reappeared. Oh my god, he's so cute! The stolen Cassiopeia necklace is said to be worth a hundred million chien. Oh, damn. That much? I'm certain it's already been sold and the money donated to an orphanage. I wish I could have gotten some of that cash. <laughs> this reminds me that a few years back, someone wanted to donate some money at the hospital where my mom works. Oh. They just dropped off 10 million chien and left. Oh, interesting. People are saying they think that was a nine-tailed cat. Really? What else? What did they look like? Um, dude, why are you just barging into our conversation? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Somebody in the chat, dude, like, Gossip Girl. <laughs> XOX, Gossip Girl. Just keep going. What they looked like? <laughs> uh, well, the donor wore a hood way over their head, so nobody got a good look at their face. Uh, uh like you? <laughs> you just talking yourself up, cat? <laughs> yeah, I heard the cat was so cool and so awesome and so sexy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go tell another person about the story later. <laughs> that being said, some think the donor's hair and eyes were a burning okay. red color. Oh my god. God. <laughs> Well, this is that asshole. That's fantastic info. <laughs> Thanks. Next time, I'll invite you backstage. <laughs> Literally never seen you in my life. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get a restraining order. <laughs> what was your name again? Oh, wait, let me, um... I don't know why, dude. I'm so bad with names. Oh, dude, I can't even look at the old profiles. I was like, uh, why can't I think of his name? I literally hated him so much. He was the bane of my existence, a little red hair. Yomi! God, I was like, I know it starts with a ya- Oh, oh yai? Oh, Yomi. It's like, it's gotta be Yomi. It's his redemption arc. That's what we're gonna be going for. And yeah, maybe his good twin. Now I believe in my boy, Yomi. <laughs> he got back together with the animal guy, and now- And now they're in love, and he's changed. He's, he's come, come back, come back to his old ways. Come a good person That's again. Nice. Hey there, uh, my lady, <laughs> Tips Fedora. Can I talk to you for a sec? Um, Hi. I'm looking for someone. Um, someone with a silent but plump, what the fuck are you talking about? Whose slender as eyes emit a gaze so piercing. It's as if I'm about to be stabbed. Just my time. And that's right, someone I've been looking for is you. I'm like a 40 year old woman, bro. Wow. And less importantly, I'm looking for the nine tailed cat. Even if it's only rumors, can you tell me anything about him? No clue. Get the <sighs> fuck away from me. Well, I don't blame you. No further questions regarding the nine tailed cat. Uh, but you will be giving me your number, though, right? Then... All that's left is for you to tell me about yourself. How about going to a fancy bar, just the two of us? Quiet. <laughs> it's so cute the way you're blushing. <laughs> is this Maki? Die. I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, God, she's so in love with me. Oh, my God, this is totally working out. Oh, man. Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. It's nice to see the Chief again. I know. I'm kind of worried to see. I'm not worried. I'm excited. But, like, I just feel like his story is probably going to be sad. His, um, you know, DLC. We'll see. We'll see, though. Thank you. David D was driving down the road the other day and saw my ex. It's funny how I'd hit that. She just meetings over the years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one a lot. Thank you, David. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Okay. Um, let me go. Do -do -do. This way. There we go. Is there a way to run this game? I think they just kind of automatically run, right? I think so. Okay, somebody over here I can talk to. Another person in a hoodie. Uh. It goes against my nature to question men, but oh God, I got no choice. I need info on the nine-tailed cat. Didn't he admit <laughs> to being bi in that one, like, gab thing? I thought it kind of implied it at the very least, didn't he? Or maybe he was just a heavy ally. <laughs> That and he was like so heavily flirting with Yuma. I just was like, yep, it's confirmed. Sub brother? Uh, who the hell? You're not a customer, are you? You want some meth, man? Uh, well, can't say that I am. I just want to talk to my bro for a minute. 
Beat it. Only talk to customers. Oh, no. Well, it's just one small. Beat it or I'll murder you. Uh, gotcha. So, so scary. Tucking a woman is better after all. Just beat it. Beat it. Just beat it. Oh my god, Michael Jackson, is that you? <laughs> I love that song. Okay, I guess we can... Maybe... I think there's somebody up there, but I don't think that actually... Oh wait, is there somebody... There's somebody in here too, the... Hotel. Nice. I think, uh... Okay, it's an employee we talked to. Welcome to the Sun and Moon Hotel. How may I assist you? Um, a lovely lady, would you listen to my words? to a pilgrim like me. You're the sun swaddling my icy heart and the lovely moon guiding me through the dark night. Um, a guest of the hotel may use the... <laughs> it's like, oh god, I can't say anything because I'm an employee too, god damn it. <laughs> That's the most awkward thing ever when somebody's creeping on you when you're like working like a desk job like this and you're just like, okay sir, <laughs> guests of the hotel can use the restaurant in the lounge area. Please go to one of those areas right now. Well, uh, that won't be necessary for you are in my perch. Um, if this is some sort of prank, I'll have to report you to the peacekeepers. No. Well, I'm actually looking for someone. Do you know anything about the nine-tailed cat? I see, I only know what he's, that he's a phantom thief who's been causing some commotion. <laughs> Okay, okay, I don't blame you for not knowing. And by the way, you wanna have dinner with me tonight? I'm working tonight, and tomorrow, and every single other day after that. Then... Then after you... Then after you get off work? Um... <laughs> I'm working forever. <sighs> She's not looking at me! Oh man, lame! Oh man, I feel like it was always like old men when I would like have jobs where they would just like... I don't know. Start like hitting on me. It's so awkward, man. You're just like. <sighs> but you're also like, I don't want to get in trouble with my managers. So you're just like, eh, cool, bye. <laughs> oh no, I think my manager's calling me. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, deuces. Okay, I think there's one more person we can talk to up here. Goes down. Then up here. Okay. Oh my god, drone barrel. I'm so sad the drone barrels were never used in a case. What a freaking waste, dude. I'm gonna have to write like a fanfic where the drone barrels are important. Because, man, that just felt like such a waste. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Have ma you seen an okay. awesome, charismatic guy around here? <laughs> it's literally me. <laughs> Excuse me? Take a good look. There's one right in front of you. Huh? Aren't you like 12, dude? It's me! <laughs> me! I'm the freedom-loving, charismatic detective, Desuhiko Thunderbolt! Is Desuhiko just a Lulu thinking he's like famous? Pardon me, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, hold on! <laughs> I'm in a hurry too! I really need your help. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. I'm investigating the nine tailed cat. Do you know anything about them? The nine tailed cat? The thief who stole the gemstones from the art gallery? Yes, that one. Can you tell me anything you know? I kind of feel like the nine-tailed cat. I bet the nine-tailed cat's gonna be like some hot girl and he's gonna be like, whoa! Never mind, I thought I hated you, bro, but now I think I'm in love. All I know are just some rumors. I don't feel like that's gonna be what happens. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanna hear. I heard this from my friend's sister's co-worker, but the mm. nine-tailed cat is actually a young man. Oh, okay, a never mind. Young man. I see. <laughs> that bastard. Thanks. That's a big help. Oh, by the way, <laughs> who do you like better? Me or him? Well, I've never seen the nine tailed <laughs> cat's face, so I can't compare. Let's see. Now that I've had a closer look. Oh. I guess you're oh, not. Oh, God. Too bad. Oh, God, girl. You do not know what you got yourself into. Oh, my God. He's going to stalk you now. Right? <laughs> I oh, get God. that a lot. Oh, How about we step into a cafe and chat for a while? <laughs> Why did she get- I mean, like, actually, I'm, I'm married to the Ninetale cat. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, so leave me alone. Goodbye. <laughs> you said you were in a hurry, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's meet again on the stage. It's like, is he really DeLulu about being famous? He's just like, I mean, everybody knows me. <laughs> I wish I could have that level of DeLulu. Okay. Oh, Dezu. 
Delulu is the Salulu. Zesu, he's so happy, man. He's so happy because he truly, truly believes all this shit he says. Oh, I have to go back up again? Man, this area confuses me so much. Okay, I wonder if I can reach it from up here. Oh, is it up another one? Okay, let me try to go all the way down here. Desu Lulu. Desu Lulu Hiko. He do be hella de Lulu. Um, that's going down. God dang it. <laughs> this is the part of the map that just confuses me so much. <laughs> okay, maybe <laughs> up here. No, I can't go anywhere up else up here. It did say it was up though. God dang it. Okay. Maybe I'll just like kind of walk towards it first and hopefully find somewhere. <laughs> oh god. I forgot these maps can be so confusing. Okay, is that a... Oh hey, here's some music. -na -na. Okay, is it like... Oh, that's abandoned building rooftop? Can I actually go up here? Oh. I'm a pal, I'm a pal. Oh my god, you are so based. You are so, oh my, I miss him. Oh my little guy. You know, he reminds me of uh, the guy from Big Hero 6. I was like, he does kind of remind me of him. Oh my goodness, look at him, I love him so much. Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA for the donation. He really wants a girlfriend. Yeah, he's, he's pretty desperate. Okay. Hello, gorgeous. Ugh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, time to do Hilaris DLC. How do I exit out of this? <laughs> can, I, can I fucking exit out of this game? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Mature girl. And don't... Don't call her that, she's like seven! Don't be scared. I'm a superstar. And starlight will always illuminate a lady like yourself. I wanna die. Lady? <laughs> I'm five years old, you fucking pervert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to me, you're one refined lady. Anyway, do you know anything about the nine-tailed cat? Can I... <laughs> I take back everything good I said about it <laughs> during the nine-tailed fox thing. Yeah? Oh? Like what? I mean, during the gumshoe gab thing. I like the cat. I'm a fan. What do you like about them? <sighs> They're so cool. Maybe, is he just being like, I guess he's just like joking, but it's still really weird. The cat is tall and kind of like a model. Oh, really? Oh, thanks for telling me. So you're a fan of the cat too? Hmm. Mm. I'm more like a uh, a rival. Rival? Eh. Soon you'll be my fan too. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't do the hard eyes, dude. Mm. Um, I I need an adult. I'll be waiting with front row tickets for you. Ta ta. Uh, I feel like I guess he was just like kind of. I don't know, trying to like kid around or whatever, but it's still really fucking weird. <laughs> so he wasn't acting the same way he does with like the adult women, but yeah, it was still super uh, just uncomfortable. I think. I oh yeah, I think he is just playing along, talking down. I think it's. I th I'm pretty sure it's that. It's just still really, really awkward. Cause he's not acting the same way he does with like the adult woman, but it's just still really not good look at to all. all the most promising ladies I've gathered plenty of information about the nine-tailed cat so that should be good a young man tall and slim with red hair and eyes oh, I can't wait to be reunited with Yomi the most outstanding feature is hair color but wearing a hood would make that hard to notice that reminds me the cat wore a hood when I saw him at the art gallery oh, but wait the cat I saw there didn't look tall at all. Hmm. Uh, was it just my imagination? Eh, whatever. I should head back to the agency for now and think of how to capture the cat. Okay. Damn, that's a big ass umbrella. Uh, 
okay. <laughs> God, yeah, that scene was really uncomfortable. Oh, God. Okay, Amaterasu, means of communication. Ah, uh, Yakko, I miss him. Like his little bird picture too, he has on the wall. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Oh, hey! Who's there? <laughs> what the fuck? Is this him, I guess? <laughs> I've come to steal what's most precious to you. Oh, he's got like a voice changer too. <laughs> Hello, cat. Precious to me. I'm going to take all the fuzz what off the fu your head. <laughs> oh, isn't this just fucking Desu Ego? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> it totally is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What are you scared about? <laughs> it's me, Desu Ego. Dude, Desu Ego, why don't you hit on women in this costume? <laughs> It'll work way better. Desu Ego. I suppose that is your voice, but is this your disguise? Yeah, I tried recreating what the nine-tailed cat looks like based on what people around town said. What do you think? Mm. Mm. I wasn't able to tell until you mentioned it. Uh, handsome. Uh, I guess it's no good. I was planning to walk around town looking like the cat to draw him out. That won't work. Your look is way too vague. Even fans of the cat wouldn't notice. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, but what if I enter the art gallery like this and try to steal something? And wouldn't you just get like arrested or something? Witnesses would think I'm the nine-tailed cat. I guess uh, people could mistake you like that, but everyone only has a rough image of what the cat looks like. <laughs> this is a hot topic, Rantaro. <laughs> Dead. That's it. I just came up with a brilliant idea. I have a bad feeling about this. Don't tell me you're really going to try to steal something dressed like that. If I do, I'd be the one who gets arrested. Maybe I can take advantage of the fact that this getup is what the fans are imagining. What do you mean? Oh, I just like make like an announcement and be like, it is I, the nine-tailed cat. Just watch. I have a Next feeling. Next time he appears. It will be the end of the Phantom Thief Nine Tail. That'd be the best way to draw him out, cause then he'd be pissed, and be like, "Come on, like, like what the hell, man? You're making me look lame." Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA, for the donation. He jump scared me, <laughs> me too, honestly. Flora and Conai Ward. Um, I'm a pal. Oh, I miss him. I miss him so much. He's just a little guy. I need to make plushes of I'm a pal. I did get a Baymax plush, so I guess it's close enough. Drone Brella! Oh my god. Developed by the Pretchly Rainy Con I Ward. Hey, are you sure the nine tailed cat will really appear tonight? Oh yeah, he totally is doing that. <laughs> just gonna make him look like a dumbass. That's what everyone's been saying in town. Cat is after a real expensive ring. Somebody came out. Oh. I thought I was gonna dress like he was before. Thank you all who've gathered here today. Please, allow me a moment to speak. As you all know, precious jewelry was stolen from this art gallery the other day. The culprit is a thief known as the Nine-Tailed Cat. And... Oh. We've received word that they will appear again tonight. Okay. I guess, of course, he'd want to come out, make his big debut, then go change as a cat and come back out. However, it is obviously a crime to steal from others. As an upstanding citizen, I cannot allow that to happen. <laughs> Sounds so serious. Cannot allow that to happen. Get lost. You're not even with the peacekeepers. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who am I, you ask? I am the charismatic okay. freedom lover born unto this world by a goddess. The superstar detective, Jesuhiko Thunderbolt. Gotta do promo before. Can you hear me, nine-tailed <laughs> cat? Your sham of a legend ends today. Is he gonna like pretend to stop the nine-tailed cat? I, Jesuhiko Thunderbolt, will end you. That's Dezuhiko Thunderbolt. Remember the name, guys. Remember. There are still detectives in town? That guy looks hella dumb. He'll never catch the nine-tailed cat. 
Oh, is this after uh, the game ends? Actually, now that I think about it, maybe this does take place after the end of the game. They did mention, uh, why are there still detectives here? 30 minutes, 30 minutes, minutes later. Hey, it's that guy oh. again. Hey, detective! Where's the nine-tailed <laughs> cat? You sure the ring hasn't been stolen already? Hello, everyone! Oh my god. The phantom thief nine-tailed cat has fallen into my trap and has <laughs> been captured. What the hell is he doing? Here's the proof. This is the Virgo ring the cat was after. As you can see, the <laughs> ring is safe. Bro, just transform into the hog guy. That's what they all want. Nine-tailed cat was captured. No way. Well, that ring does look pretty legit. That dumb cat has been imprisoned inside the art gallery. I'll leave the rest to the peacekeepers. I'll be going now. And now that I have captured a beloved Robin Hood character, you guys all love me, right? Thank God, no more money can go to those hospitals. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Hmm? Give the ring back. Oh, but <laughs> of course I. <laughs> Fully intend to return it to the gallery's <laughs> curator. No, no, no. I was just I was gonna drive by their apartment and return it there. It just, <laughs> just runs off. They gotta be blunt. Oh. I'm way more handsome than that. What the fuck? What the what? What? What Two the hell? Detectives? Wait. So that's Desi. Wait, wait. Which one's the real Desi Vigo? You've been caught in my trap, nine-tailed cat. Oh. Is it like the same power as Desuhiko or something? What the hell? Whoa, gasp! Oh, what the fuck? He does look exactly like him. I was the one who spread the rumor about you appearing here today. How does he? How did he? How did he manage to transform into exactly what he looks like? Does he have the same power? Does he have like the detective ability too? With so many spectators here, I knew you'd use a trick to take advantage of the crowd. <laughs> Who would have thought you'd disguise yourself as me and try to enter through the front door? And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kid. Damn it! The <laughs> Phantom Thief has finally been caught? <laughs> Thank God, no more money for those hospitals, right guys? Yeah! Everybody loves me now! Hand claps for Desuhiko! Yeah! <laughs> Fucking Desuhiko! That's impossible! Come on. Oh, God. I'll interrogate you before handing you over to the peacekeepers. Oh, man, that's confusing. <laughs> I guess I kind of get what he was going for, but I kind of thought it would be more, uh, I don't know, more, what's the word? This week is pretty the prize being like, it takes about an hour a day to style. But yeah, I thought making him look bad would be a more uh, easy way to kind of lure him out. To be like, hey, asshole, what are you doing? But I guess he could read? tell that, like, maybe... I guess maybe he could tell that the cat had, like, a power like his since nobody had, I guess, an idea of what he looked like. You know what I mean? This? A new hero emerges. Nine-tailed cat caught at last. Now oh, look at all the attention you've gotten. <laughs> the peacekeepers won't take this lying down. Oh, at man. Last, I'm finally famous. <laughs> I'm the star that touched down to Earth here in the city where stars. Never shot. So, what are you going to do now? Please don't get me involved. <laughs> just watch. Oh, wait, My no. Path to stardom has just begun. This can take place after after the events of the game because Yako is still here. Ah, it's so sad. I just realized. Oh, damn, rip. They just made a new Yako Speak zombie. <laughs> That's what happened. Huh? I wasn't expecting any guests. Oh, what the? She's a newspaper reporter. She wants to speak with the detective who caught the nine-tailed cat. Is it gonna be like she's the nine-tailed cat somehow? I guess we'll see. Nice to meet you. I'm Anine of the Kondai Times. You must be Desuhiko, the one who caught the nine-tailed cat. Hello! I'd like to conduct an interview with you, since you're the new Star of Hope in Kanai Ward. <laughs> the new Star of Hope! People are so excited that no money is going to the food banks anymore, thank god. An interview, huh? Yeah, sorry, but I only speak to the first person to come see me. Uh, uh, uh well... 
then... But you're the first <laughs> one here. Congrats! God. Th thank you! You're really letting this get to your head, Desuhiko. I hope your pride doesn't get crushed later on. Oh, it will. Yeah, yeah. There's too much noise here, so let's go somewhere else. This place is too dirty to take nice pictures anyway. Well, excuse me for this mess. Let's go. <laughs> let's go to a nice restaurant. If anyone else comes asking for an interview, turn them down for me, chief. <laughs> Unless they're cute. She is cute. I don't trust her either, Jeez. though. I feel like... I've got a bad feeling about this. Especially since it seems like the cat has, like, an ability to transform. I feel like he probably is her somehow or something. We'll see. Interesting loading screen. Every once in a while it does these, like, unique ones. What's up, Sheeny? <laughs> She's so cute, I forgive her for anything she might do. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it is interesting she got her own sprite, too. So I was like, she seems important, but we'll see. Oh god, he took her to a hotel. You know, just coming here to prepare for the Thank inevitable. Thank you so uh -huh. much for taking this interview today. To begin, I am speaking with Desuhiko Thunderbolt in this exclusive interview. Ask me anything. I'll tell you all about it. Well, let's start with the first question. As a detective, what do you usually do on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh, undercover investigations, perimeter security. I actually get to choose? Okay, uh, undercover investigations. In my like case, a badass. I do a lot of undercover investigations. I'm good at sneaking into places. Buy a lot of meat buns for my boss. If the investigation is about a girl, I can get all the information I need. You know, because I'm just such a suave dude. While I'm no good at solving murder cases, I excel in finding <laughs> out what women want. The cringe. If you don't mind my asking, <laughs> what sort of places have you gone undercover in the past? For example, uh, a rock star's dressing room backstage, the filming location of a big movie. You see uh, the women's section in a spa room, girls' locker room, <laughs> women's restroom. Uh, where, where else? Where else have I gone? Are you sure those are the acts of a detective and not some sort of entitled fan? <laughs> of course. Anyway, that's all I can tell you about. Uh, the rest is confidential, you know. I thank you, Mega Shark CDA. I say he caught one of the one of the nine tail cat. Oh, I could see that. I could see there being like, yeah, nine of them, and that's what it is. Interesting. I see. Uh, very well. Mm. Moving on then. Do you have any special abilities? Disguise a <laughs> jamming. <laughs> I do just kind of want to be a dumbass in this interview. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can't play any instruments, but like, when I listen to like, Linkin Park, I go hard. I listen to music harder than anybody else. It's kind of, it's kind of my passion. About my skills? <laughs> I'm great at playing musical instruments. I'm a wizard on the guitar and bass. But I shine brightest <laughs> on vocals. I was born to stand in the middle of the stage with a mic in hand. I'm writing up songs that I'll use someday to fill this city with music. So you're planning your debut as an artist then? Exactly. Exactly. I drown the people in this city with my music more than rain ever could. That's uh, something to look for. <laughs> well, next question. I'm regretting this interview. Thank you, Mannequin Weeby. She has a sprite. She must be important. Me nervously like some Melamine. <laughs> And Pookie got in all of them, basically. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Appreciate ya. How is your match against the Phantom Thief, Nine-Tailed Cat? Was it impressed? He was tough. Um... Uh, let's see... What's more douchey? I feel like... I probably wasn't impressed, right? Hey, you know, I'm just so badass and cool. Eh, it's like nothing impressed. to me. Nine-Tailed Cat. More like a plain old stray. God, if she is a part of their like organization or something, she'd be pissed. It wasn't superior skill that kept <laughs> it from being captured. Rather, <laughs> no one else was serious about taking him in. So, where's the captured nine-tailed cat currently being held? 
Hmm? Oh, the peacekeepers took him away somewhere. <laughs> He's probably cursing me from some jail cell right now. By the way, what does the nine-tailed cat look like? Uh, he's got distinctive red hair and eyes, but otherwise he looks kind of thin and weak. I see. Thank you very much. On to my next question. Do you know the secret behind the Virgo ring? No idea. I know. <laughs> I feel like I should just lie. I kind of do want to actually know what it is because I feel like that's important, but I do think it would be kind of funny to lie. It's very Desert Hiko, you know? Oh, um, yeah. You mean the big Virgo ring secret, yeah? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was it again? Means whoever wears it's like a virgin or something, right? Yeah, totally. Supposedly, there's a secret message written underneath the spot where the gemstone sits. A similar message was written on the Cassiopeia necklace the Nine-Tailed Cat stole before. I could see it being like, you know, the Nine-Tailed Cat switches out, like the ring with like a fake ring or something like that. And deciphering both messages is said to reveal the location of a hidden treasure. Okay. Wait, hidden treasure? The ring was hiding <laughs> something that big? You still got it, bro? Where was the message written again? Huh? <laughs> Why do you still fucking have it? Why do you have that ring? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm still on my way to return it to the, you know, museum guy or whatever. Oh, uh... <laughs> Ring taken out of the art gallery by the nine tailed cat? Uh. Um, returned to them after the cat was captured. No, yeah, I'm, I'm just still on the way. I'm about to do it any moment now. It. It's, you know, I uh, missed my chance to. <laughs> That's great. Just so busy being famous and shit. Desuhiko, don't tell me you took advantage of the situation and kept it for yourself. No, it's, you're making it sound worse than it is. I really was gonna return it. Oh, Lamel, what a dumbass. Really? Totally. Totally. Now we go return it now together. Like a date. I'll accompany you as long as you allow me to continue the interview. Yeah, oh I'll agree to anything. Interview and all. <laughs> to make him look so bad in the interview, she's totally gonna mention that. Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. I don't just her. You mean uh, trust her? I kind of don't really trust her either. We'll see that. We'll anyway, see. Anyway, what did you say about hidden treasure? I didn't see a secret message anywhere. It's right there. Where? Behind the pedestal. Here, I'll show you. Is she gonna steal it? See, it's written right here. What does it Let's say? Let's see. Hmm. Um, you gave me the ring, dumbass. Thanks for the ring. <laughs> yeah. <I'm not> detective. <laughs> I had a feeling. The uh, what now? That's the secret <laughs> message. Dimwit detective. God, that's so specific. Wait. Mm. Dimwit? Is it talking about me? You've realized it far <laughs> too late, oh mighty detective. You're no newspaper reporter. You finally figured it out. Don't tell me you're... You're the hash-linging, the bash-ringing. That's right. I'm the phantom thief, nine-tailed cat, that you thought you had captured. Who was the other guy? The real one, that is. So you're the cat? Did she have like a fake or something? I really was starting to think it was like an organization. That whole farce at the art gallery was quite entertaining to watch. The red-haired man you caught in front of the gallery was the chief at your detective agency, wasn't it? Oh, what the? Complete disguises on him, and then exposed him in front of the spectators. What? <laughs> what the fuck, Desuiko? <laughs> Just as you planned, the people in town thought he was the nine-tailed cat. <laughs> he didn't even care about actually capturing him. Just wanted to make himself look cool. Did you put on that little show to stain my public image? That's right. You sure are sharp. To the citizens of this city, you're nothing but a conglomeration of their own images and assumptions. Okay. By destroying that image, I knew they'd lose all respect and awe for you. Soon, the people of this town would begin to hate criminals. That'd make it a lot harder for the real cat to commit crimes. Your okay. work as the Phantom Thief would be done for. Okay, so I kind of destroy it that way. I see. <laughs> I can't believe it was Yako in there too. 
<laughs> oh my god, he did a good job though disguising him. Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. I think she's one of the cats. I think she might be the only cat, but I guess we'll see. Thanks for the dono. You really think your games are enough to make the nine-tailed cat disappear? Like, how did Yaka make himself so short? As long as the cat is needed in this city, she will never die. Unfortunately for you, your plan needed much more thought. You got some nerve. It's true that I underestimated your guts. I never thought you'd come directly to our office. And that getup, it's no disguise. Mm -hmm. So, the whole red hair and eyes and other stuff were all made up rumors. I like to spread rumors about my appearance. It was all just insurance for my sake, but I didn't expect it to catch on so quickly. You detectives sure are easy to fool. <laughs> You're quite the woman. Quite the woman. I'll take that as a compliment. By the way, there is no secret message. That was all a lie to get you to show me the ring. Yeah, I kind of figured that part. And as planned, I'll be taking this. <laughs> the Virgo ring is mine. <laughs> that was cute. Are you going already? Yes. Thank you for playing along with my lengthy interview. Well, so long. Damn, she's gonna leave like that? Wait. The battle's not over yet, Nine-Tailed Cat. What is it now? The one you're holding is a fake. Check out the real deal. Oh, God. <laughs> so many twists and turns. No way. <laughs> You said my plan needed more thought. <laughs> well, did you anticipate this part? <laughs> oh if my the god. If cat can't be caught, the only option is to lure her out. I was kind of wondering that too. I was like, if this was all a part of his plan with, the, with like Yako and stuff. At first I was like, did he just do that to make himself look good? But I was like, surely it has something to do with actually catching the cat. But I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell with Desuhiko because he's kind of a dumbass. That whole show you insulted was just part of my trap to lure you. I knew you wouldn't stand for your reputation as a great phantom thief to be tarnished like that. The reason you lost is because you weren't willing to yield on your pride. You would have been better off just letting yourself get arrested back then. <sighs> you might think you're some sort of Robin Hood, but you're nothing but a criminal. As a detective, I can't let you go free. I don't know why Tezuhi goes all of a sudden on like his Kenjo arc. I thought you were just some cocky idiot, but you're not bad. All just a dirty criminal. Well, I'm bad at investigating cases, but I'm not too shabby when it comes to negotiations. So, what will you do now? Hand me over to the peacekeepers? Well... <laughs> I knew you would know that I knew, basically. <laughs> that was the original plan, 70 but... chess. You're going to let me go? No, I can't do that. But I don't intend to give you up to the peacekeepers, either. <sighs> what are you saying? The peacekeepers do be, like, evil and shit. Oh, God. I can't let you go. Not only as a detective, but as like, a man as well. I feel like I see where this is going. Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Will you marry me? <laughs> what the hell? Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding totally me? Serious. <laughs> Jesus I Christ! Search the whole world, but no one Don't is more it. exciting than you. Don't do it. Don't a phantom do it. thief and a detective couple. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> But that ring isn't even yours in the oh first place. Oh my god. It doesn't matter. If you accept it, then we're <laughs> partners. I see. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Does this mean... You really are. <laughs> you just gave me both Before. rings. Uh, is that a yes? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All that hey, 70 chests for nothing. Wait, hey, I haven't heard your response yet. Hey, can I get the real ring back? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, Desuhiko, for a second I almost thought you were smart. Almost. You almost got me. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm in an engagement this week. <laughs>
So, how did the mission go? Heartbroken. Did you succeed? <laughs> He's in mourning right now, Yako. Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. I knew it was the chief, and I knew the ring was fake. Oh, did you guess that, or have you played this before? Thank you for the donation. <laughs> I lost it. Lost what? The jewel. <laughs> my confidence. <laughs> and my love. <laughs> Looks like that one picture. The one uh, Sakura pose. I think that was based off of like a, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Like a manga or something, too. The jewel? <laughs> Wait. You mean the Virgo ring? You no, no, it's what. <laughs> It's much more important. You were listening to the rest. I also lost the love of my life. The 258th love of my life. The art gallery was nice enough to lend it to us in order to help capture the phantom thief. And you oh, lost God. it? Poor Yako. What am I going to do? We'll go bankrupt trying to pay it back. We'll be in debt for life. <laughs> Don't just sit there feeling <laughs> sorry for yourself. You've got to do something. He's broken. Oh, God. <laughs> now that's how I expected Dezuhiko DLC to end. Him being a dumbass. <laughs> oh, gosh. Poor Yako. That was cute, though. I like that. It's decently long, too. Like, 50 minutes. I guess I do talk a lot, though, so... Eh. <laughs> It'd be like that. F in the chat for chair -coon. So sad. Oh, man. Yako knocked the chair down. Oh, hey, we got a little bit more, actually. Hey, did you hear the nine-tailed cat has returned? Okay. I thought they captured the thief. What got stolen this time? Is it true the phantom thief was struck again? E yeah. What was stolen this time? Surprisingly, nothing. Oh. What the? Instead, the phantom played a prank, leaving oh. a ring on the finger of a statue. The real one or the fake one? <laughs> she leave him a note. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> what did it say? I'm returning the Virgo ring. Unfortunately, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like how it looks. <laughs> it's kind of ugly, you know. So it's whatever. <laughs> I've donated to enough hospitals and food banks and homeless shelters. I'm good. I just wanted to keep it for myself this time. Charisma killed the cat. Oh, that was cute. That was funny. Nice. Who's the next one? Is it Halara, maybe? Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. I knew it was the chief. I heard his voice. Oh, okay. I guess I wasn't really paying attention to that. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Oh my god, art gallery staff. <laughs> I don't think he had the sexy voice like the other art gallery staff guy. I feel like he was uh, the non-sexy art gallery staff. Oh, Fubuki. Of course, lara has got a cat-themed one, too. Let me turn on my fan, too, really quickly. A little hot in here. Here we go. Nice. Boogies will probably be really meme -y too. And then we'll get all the serious, or the two serious ones back to back, Alara and uh, Vivia. I guess Vivia can be kind of meme -y too, but he's just very like deadpan, you know what I mean? I guess Vivia's, <laughs> would more so be meme -y from me just like, <laughs> simping for him. <laughs> he just likes to talk about dying and shit. Okay, Fabuki. Time to lose brain cells. <laughs> Basically. Raining plural cats and singular dog. Did it say that? I don't know if I paid enough attention to it. Fiduki. <laughs> Forgot about that hey, nickname. You there. Oh god, about to get scammed. It's like I feel like she's just gonna be scammed the whole, yes, the whole time. Yes, beautiful lady. You will succeed in all you do today. Consider it your lucky day, so to speak. 
If you pay me Lucky 500 day. shillion or whatever. Yes, she it'll am. be the best day of your life. If you were ever to play a game of chance, today would be the day. Shall I read your fortune? I'll tell you what your <laughs> lucky number is. <laughs> okay. Mm, I do not fare well at gambling. This is horrible! Someone just fell from the sky! Oh, what the? Is this part of my lucky day? <laughs> I thought the other one was raining cats and dogs, not this one. This one's just raining people. <laughs> this happened in Persona 5. I was thinking about that too. I was like, wasn't there like the the fortune reader in Persona 5 too? She was a lot prettier though. It appears as though something is happening over there. No, no, you must pay me. <laughs> Come on, I'm sure he's hey. fine. Do you wish to know your lucky numbers? One moment, um. But um, at the moment, I'm far more concerned about the commotion than my lucky number. Okay. That's kind of sights rollery. Eh, what a ruckus. Wrench. I was like, what is this statue? Saw it earlier, too. Like, the Virgin Mary or something? I wonder if it could be some sort of festival. What's going oh, on? Oh, shit. Looks like someone collapsed. Looks like a sewer slide. Oh god. Some guy fell from a building nearby. It's raining men. <laughs> no. Was it a suicide? Pardon me. Please let me through. Are you Jesus. a doctor? Uh, no, I am not. Do you know this man? No, I do not know him whatsoever. Then why are you here? <laughs> um, today is supposed to be my lucky day. <laughs> Girl, so I, I might be of some use. <laughs> Girl, why would you say that and not that you're a detective? Huh? Oh, you are still breathing. <laughs> what luck! Hey, he's trying to say something. Oh shit! Three. 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 Um, I was not quite able to hear you. Could you please repeat yourself? Wait, that's her lucky number three. The old lady comes running. That's it! I'm telling you your lucky number through the sewer slide, old man! Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. I knew the ring was fake. It didn't glow, shine. Oh, okay, I wasn't really paying attention to that either. Thanks for the dono. Appreciate ya. Uh, oh, hey, he has a dice with him, too. Hey, hang in there. He's not breathing. Where's the ambulance? Maybe that was a dying message? It sounded to me as though he was trying to say the number three. If I am not mistaken, those were the last words he uttered before death. I must not let them go to waste. Oh, if I rewind time, I can hear his message again. <laughs> oh my god, maybe it'll be sound a little bit different. <laughs> Just says three again. Let me try it one more time. Three. Oh, one more time. Three. One more time. Four. I might say four this time. Repeatedly hearing someone's dying message is something only I can do. Girl, I don't know if that's going to help you that much. What are you mumbling about? If you're not going to help, get out of the... <laughs> uh, is she really going to do it? What the hell? <laughs> Girl, I don't know if that's really going to help that much. Actually... Why can't you... Yeah, just... <laughs> try to prevent him from dying in the first place Literally instead. what I was going to say. I was like, why not prevent him from dying? Protecting the people is part of my duties as a detective. I may still uh, be time if I hurry. She's so stupid. Hey, you there. Pardon me. Yeah, I was like, hurry. Let's not. We can catch him this time. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. We gotta run. Run, Fadookie. Run. Oh, shit. Oh, that noise. <laughs> just a few more. Just a few more seconds earlier. We can do it. Are you all right? What happened? Uh, is there something you must say to me? Please, go ahead. Two. Oh, what the? Two? Two. As in the number? Hey, you. What happened? Yeah, what? Are you all right? What's up Should with the dice, an too? It's like counting to something? One, two, three? No need. I am fine. I shall be right back. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be her whole DLC? <laughs> <laughs> the dying message was different this time. Oh god. First was three. Next it was two. I wonder what it could mean. <laughs> Is she not gonna try to save him at all? Hey, you girl, don't even 
<laughs> Girl, don't even respond. This is exhausting. Oh, perfect timing. Uh, it's not really that far enough for a car. Pardon Just like drives me. over and he Please falls in the car. In. Okay, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's <a> rewind time. <laughs> Oh, I missed those two. Yep! <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> She's gonna crash on the car. Oh, God. Oh, shit. That helped line your fall, right? <laughs> right? What happened here? Can you talk? There. One? One. I feel like you might just be reading the dice and it's just like changing every time too. I could see that being the case. I guess we'll see. Thank you, Mannequin. He's just trying to help Fabuki learn her numbers. <laughs> he just knows she's a dumbass. <laughs> trying to help her learn how to count. That's so nice what? of him. Oops, now I didn't want me to do one? that. What could it mean? Tell me, please, before you die. Why don't you fucking try to save me before I die? Did someone push you off? Who oh, was the culprit? <gasps> Just wasting her powers. No good. <laughs> I must do it over again. Hey, he's still breathing. The car's roof must oh. have pushed his fall. Nice. Hurry up and call it an actually <laughs> helped. <laughs> Somehow. Thank goodness. I did it. It is true. Today really is my lucky day. <laughs> Dumbass. What a happy ending. I'm literally bleeding out. <laughs> Okay, girl. <laughs> For a little bit, I was thinking that was going to be the whole DLC. Just keep rewinding. <laughs> it's rewind time. It's rewind time. Oh, gosh. Well, as long as it worked out, that's all that matters. I can try to figure out who the culprit is, though, now. <laughs> Yay, celebrate! It's like, yeah, he died. He died during surgery in the hospital. And what? <laughs> that is what happened the other day. I like how Lara's just sitting at a different table. That's not a happy ending at all. Nothing was solved. Did the guy live? Yes, he managed to survive. Although he is currently in a coma. <laughs> he might just be comatose for the rest of his life, but yay, he survived. <laughs> and his family will go into medical death. Dead, keeping him alive, but yay, he's alive! <laughs> Thank you, look at his 58th. This proof Fabuki getting tired is the way to nerf her forte because she is way too OP. Kenji, stop being a bad guy. I feel like she's just so stupid that she makes her ability like not OP. <laughs> just because she's so dumb. Like, imagine if Alara had that ability, the world would be saved. So, you still don't know why he fell from the sky. The newspaper says it was an attempted suicide. It seems he climbed over a fence on top of the building. Was it really? I bet the peacekeepers made that up after another half-assed investigation. Yeah, probably. Regardless, it has nothing to do with us. I mean, you're right and all, but doesn't it bother you? That sure is a weird dying message. Yeah. At first it was three, then two, then finally one, right? It's like... Countdown or something. I guess you didn't even notice the dice next to him. I've never heard of a changing dying message. That's because dying messages are normally a one time event. So perhaps the message changed because I turned back time. No, that doesn't make sense. The victim had already fallen by the time you arrived at the scene. So whether it be a suicide or a homicide, the events leading up to the fall shouldn't have changed. I oh, think you, Mega Shark ZDA. I wonder who pushed the poor guy. Yeah, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure that'll be probably the um, what you call it. What we end up doing, but we shall see. And I doubt he'd want to tell you something different each time. What do you think, Alara? So I kind of feel like it's like the dice changing numbers every time. Should I assume you're requesting to hire me with that question? No, uh, never mind then. It was dumb of me to ask. Cause yeah, it's like if I don't know, he falls slightly differently every time, and he's just reading the dice then. That could be it, you no know? No matter the problem, asking for my assistance is the wisest choice one can make. Except you charge an arm and a leg each time. Naturally, I must charge an appropriate rate. Although, in this case, it doesn't seem like a criminal act. I suppose I don't mind. 
if we consider this a conversation among friends. Oh, so we're friends now. What's with the change of heart? I guess the dice, like, it doesn't want to land differently when you fell in the car, but I'm not so sure about the second time it landing differently or how it would have landed differently. Just like the butterfly effect of her not talking to the grandma. <laughs> I don't know that, how that would affect him falling, but I don't know. Butterfly effects are weird. I wonder why the dying message changed. Do you know why, Halara? I can deduce the possibilities. However, I cannot declare anything unless I investigate the scene myself. So an investigation is still necessary. I'm glad we're seeing the other detectives too. Investigation! Oh, you actually get one. Interesting. You definitely want to remember this. Okay. And clues, you can review the info of acquired clues. Enlarge, move to explanation, start, explanation, end. Okay. New clue! The message from the man who fell. Three. Then two. Then one. This poor dude. <laughs> it's like, oh god, why do I keep feeling this pain over and over again? I may mean, land on like the, the way, according to the like the glass over like the light too for the taxi that time. The Yikes. Newspaper. The victim fell from a four-story building. Floor one is a luxury brand shop. Floor two is a restaurant. Floor three is a beauty salon. So wait, you fell from oh crap. I was like, what was the log casino. again? Which one was the log again? Ah, man, I can't remember which one was the log. Was it? Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, God, I get so confused doing, like, the Steam Deck to this. Can I even look at the log, actually, for this one? Nah, I don't know if I can. Oh, well. It's like, which one did he fall from? I can't Each remember. Each floor has windows facing the street that cannot be opened. Thus, it's very well, likely the victim fell the city from climbed the roof. Yeah, the city climbed the fence on the rooftop. The building where the victim is believed to have fallen from is four stories high. Do we have an ID on the victim? He's a 25-year-old man. He works at the shop on the first floor, but often goes to the other floors as a customer. You could like smoke on the roof or something too. So the people in the building were his acquaintances. There's still a chance someone else from the building took him up to the roof and pushed him off. True, true. He works in the building he fell from. Perhaps the dying message indicates who did it? If that was the case, then it's weird the message changed each time he got to the victim. Or maybe there's someone named 321? <laughs> that can't be it, right? <laughs> no, no, that's it. You can't say that with certainty. Okay, fair enough. Mm. But that doesn't explain why the message changed. That reminds me, when the victim mentioned one the last time he spoke, he actually said there. You guys like, wait a second, is Hilaria going to be charging them for helping with the investigation? Because they always charge Yuma like a ton of money. There? Did he find something? They haven't even mentioned it so far, though. That I do Just not bullying know. Yuma. Though he did look as though he was searching for something. What does that mean? The victim must have had something in his hand while he was falling. The impact of the fall caused him to drop it. Wonder what it was. I see. So the victim found the item, then left the message one. If you think about it that way, the victim's message makes sense. And it's likely the item is related to the case. <laughs> Fubuki to be like, I should rewind again so I can see what the item was. Fubuki, did you find anything <laughs> at the scene? My deepest apologies. I did not notice anything of the sort. Hmm. You may be careless, but I doubt you'd miss something so big you'd need two hands to hold it. Which means it had to be something small enough that it could be easily missed. Hold on. The victim must have held this thing in his hand the first time he fell. But instead of one, he said three that time. Was he holding something different each time he fell? Or was he holding more than one thing? Who freaking knows? Considering when Fubuki oh, turned man. that time, it's hard to believe he held something different each time. <laughs> it's kind of funny when it's like something you've already figured out and you're just like waiting for them to figure out. It's like, it's like, wait, was it three different things or was it two different things? It's like, 
<laughs> Come on, get to it. Thank you, Bree. Uh, I'm finally here. Hi, chat. I went to the FNAF movie yesterday. I loved it so much. Are you planning to go watch it later on, Weeby? Yes, I am. I'm super excited to watch it. I want to see um, if some of my friends are interested in going um, to or not, but otherwise I'll probably just go see it with my boyfriend. But yeah, I was kind of wanting to see it this weekend, but might end up, I guess, waiting to see it next weekend. But we'll see. I'm excited, though. It looks really good. I'm However, happy you enjoyed it, too. eliminate the possibility there may have been multiple items. Hmm. I am now more lost than ever. If we follow the logic, we will always arrive at our destination. The truth. But I am truly lousy at that. Don't give up, princess. Let's start from the beginning. Very well. I shall try. Just rewind again, mm. Fabuki. If the victim was holding something, that would be a key clue in this case, right? First, regarding the size of what he was holding... It was big. It was small. <laughs> that's right. It, that's a good job, Fubuki. Uh, who's, who should get a lollipop for that one? <laughs> oh, just treating her like she's a kid. Even Fubuki, good job. who was at the scene immediately after the victim fell, didn't notice that small item. Therefore, it's reasonable to believe that whatever he held was something that could fit in the palm of his hand. And the impact of the fall caused him to drop it. The third time, the victim realized he dropped it and appeared to be looking around for it. Okay. Okay. And when he saw it, he said, there, one. Okay. Hmm. But why would the victim mumble the word one after seeing it? It kind of feels like I'm playing like Dora the Explorer when she's like, do you see the purple banana? It's like right in front of the, like right in the middle of the fucking screen. You're like, okay, yeah, there it is. The surface of the object displayed the number one because there was only one of it. Normally, that would mean that whatever was on the surface of the item displayed the number one. Do you not? see the map? So the victim saw that. <laughs> and read the number one aloud. <laughs> we're gonna be like, wow, good job, Fabuki. Who's a good girl? <laughs> Treat her like a dog. <laughs> that's a dumb conclusion to make. No, that's a sensible way to think about it. It's logical as well. The victim saw it and mumbled one, so we should assume it was actually written there. Are you serious? <laughs> So, whatever it is has the numbers written on its surface, right? What is it then? A I don't parrot. Get it. In the beginning, he said three, not one. It's not strange at all if we assume the so number close. changes depending on the situation. The number can change? Wait, then that must be it! Whoa, Fubuki! Do you know what it is? And how'd you figure it out before me? Y yes. Although, it is just my guess, the item the victim was holding... You're supposed to be the dumbest one, not me! A watch, a die. I was trying to mark it was like a dice a or a die. Or something. <laughs> or something. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Vivia hiding under the piano, hearing them talk, thinking that he is jealous that the man almost died. <laughs> and says, I want to die someday, probably. <laughs> like, damn, I wish that was me. A die? Oh, I get it. The number would change depending on the roll. Hold on. It first went from three to two. Isn't it strange the numbers weren't the same? Fubuki arrived at the scene after the victim fell. By that time, the die would have fallen from the victim's hand. Which means that whatever number turned <laughs> up on the die should have been set by that point. You guys in the chat. Changed. Good job, Fubuki. You're so smart. <laughs> right. We're so you proud of you, sweetie. For this. In that case, perhaps this explains it. Because the angle from which he saw the die was different. Because that day was my most luckiest day. <laughs> okay, why did the number change between the first and second times? The angle was different? Why would the angle be different? But I feel like... I kind of feel like it is the stupid one, but just because like, I don't know, I do feel like that's very in character of her to say too. Because it was my luckiest day. <laughs> ah, fuck it, let's do it. 
<laughs> that day was my most luckiest day after all. So maybe the numbers in the die came on their own. <laughs> you know, let her cook. You know, even if it's not, at least at least we get to see her being cute and funny. That's not how it works. <laughs> right. My apologies. Pilar's like, no, let her cook. Okay, never mind. <laughs> the angle from which he saw the die would have been different. The angle? The first time, the victim was lying face down. Why did he change positions though the second time? If there was a die in his line of sight, he would have only seen one side of it. What about the second time? And the second time, I okay. arrived just a bit earlier, oh. so I tried to help the victim up. That's what it is. Yeah, she did change the angle, I guess. At that moment, he probably saw the top side of the die. Okay. I see. So that's how it went. Why was he so intent on reading it after he died? It's true or that before under he dies. normal circumstances, only the number on the top of a die is read. He landed on the taxi the third time, so it is possible that the roll of the die changed. Yeah. Fubuki, you <laughs> sure are sharp this morning. It is my luckiest day. <laughs> really? <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Yay, the man who fell was holding a die before he died. Duh. Well, I guess he didn't die this time. He's just in a coma. <laughs> Indefinitely. So he's perfectly good. Message for the man who fell, one. So basically, it went like this. Got a lot of evidence for such a short <laughs> case. The victim fell from the rooftop while holding a die. He dropped it once he hit the ground. Which means the die was cast. As the victim was knocking on death's door, he mumbled whatever number he saw. Great job deducing that much, Fubuki. Hey, you are so smart. <laughs> Who deserves a treat? I, I do. She's like Does a human gold retriever. A better detective? Yeah, but not nearly as great as me. We still lack an answer regarding the final part. In the final part? What was the victim trying to communicate with his dying message? For real? Now that you mention it, you're totally right. Why did he even bother reading the number on the die? Perhaps it was to inform us of the identity of the culprit? There is no doubt that the die was meant to point out the culprit. Nearing death, mm. the victim sought out the die to inform you of that. I guess like the die leads you to the culprit? They did say it was like a store. I was like, would it be like a game store or something? And like the person who owns the game store was the one who did it? But in his days, the best he could do was say the number he saw. I guess so. So the die was pointing out the culprit? Wait, wasn't there a place that had something to do with dice in the building the victim fell from? Oh, so perhaps the culprit was in there? Luxury brand shop, floor two restaurant, oh, casino. Perhaps the culprit was in the casino on the fourth floor? <laughs> what I like about playing as Fubuki is like, even if you get it wrong, you're just staying in character. <laughs> You can just be like, no, I'm staying in character. That's the reason I said the dumb answer. That's probably it. You did it, princess. I didn't think you'd be able to figure it out. I forgot that there was a uh, casino in there. There is no way I could have done so on my own. You have my deepest thanks, Halara and Desuhiko. Yep. Now bow down to my charisma. Still, we're just making assumptions here. We have no solid evidence. If someone said we made it all up based on his dying words, that'd be the end of it. But we made so much progress in our investigation. Is there nothing to be done about it, Halora? It would be one thing if we had the die as evidence. But it would be extremely difficult to find now. If only I had noticed it and picked it up. No, Biggie. It's not something you'd notice normally. Hey, Halara, what if we use your forte to find out where the die went? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I can't use my abilities while the victim is still alive. Oh. God dang it. You should just let him die, Fabuki. Damn, you make it sound so ominous. Uh, thank you, Shadow R. Midnight. Everyone be mad at the lack of Vivia fan service. I'm mad. I can't see the rest of Vivia's tattoo. I generally want to see what they all look like. We just gotta, we just gotta wait until his DLC... <laughs> We gotta wait till he gets another DLC, the fan service DLC. <laughs> That's what everybody wants, Kadaka. He should give it to the fans. Leaving this case alone is still a valid option. No one made a request for us to investigate, so it's not an urgent matter. 
The case will solve itself once the victim wakes up. Will it? <laughs> the culprit might attack the victim again before that happens. Since they didn't get him the first time, they might try to finish the job. Th that would be terrible! <laughs> this is all my responsibility! <laughs> what should I do? I don't think there's any need for you to feel responsible, but... I wouldn't feel good about leaving this unsolved. Hey, Hilara. You know of any ways around this? There is one. Stop teasing us and just say it! Oh, and before you ask, I'm not paying a damn thing! A clue, then. <laughs> ask the fortune teller. Hilara's so much nicer to them, man! They're always charging the crap out of Yuma. Are you a villager yeah. in an RPG fortune or teller. Uh, The fortune teller! Huh? Did something spring to mind? I told you in the beginning, remember? A fortune teller approached me. How does the fortune teller have anything to do with it? What's that got to do with this case? You should interrogate that fortune teller about the casino. You may hear something interesting. I understand. I shall depart after breakfast. But hey, are you going alone? Uh, fine. I'll join you. Mm. Alara, you're coming with, right? I'm not going without a formal request. <laughs> and money. So much for being friends. Damn. All you have done is more than enough for me. Thank you very much. I can handle the rest on my own. Yeah. Uh, I'm here too, you know. It's like she is an established detective, but it is kind of hard to believe that Fubuki can handle much on her own. Fortune teller, probably a distraction. Would she be like working with the casino guy? Then it's like, how would she know to distract Fubuki? You know what I mean? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm trying to think. Well, she works at the casino too? I don't fucking know. We'll see. Oh, he is coming with hey, us. Hey, you there. Hmm? Uh, us? Mm. Yes, you love birds. <laughs> like one fine pair. <laughs> oh, God. You don't know what can of worms you've just opened up. You will succeed in all you do today. <laughs> Consider it your lucky day. This so is the wisest old woman I've ever met in my entire fucking life. Lucky day? <gasps> oh, God. Yes, it'll be the best day of your life. If you were ever to play a game of chance, today would be the day. Shall I read your fortune? I'll tell you what your lucky number is. Yes, please. <laughs> of course it works. Hmm. It appears that multiples of three are your oh. lucky numbers. If you're going to gamble, be sure to bet on increments of three. I get it. This is what Hilara was getting at. What do you mean? You're in bed with that casino up ahead, aren't you? Oh. I guess she probably does give like fortunes to people being like, today is your lucky day. <laughs> today is the luckiest day of your life. Oh, and three, the number three. Definitely, definitely go to the casino and do, do the number three a bunch. <laughs> spend like $10,000. You won't win any money until you spend $10,000. <laughs> But that ten thousandth dollar, oh, you're gonna hit it big. I wonder if that guy was just committing sewer slide <laughs> because, like, he was like, "Damn, my lucky number! It was supposed to be three, and I lost all my money." Now, nah, probably not, just because he was reading like different numbers from the die every time. But it is connected somehow. What are you saying, <laughs> casino? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I've never heard of such a thing. We can't trust her. She isn't Glame. You clearly True. have good luck to scam us at the casino. Th that's a baseless <laughs> accusation. I'm just an ordinary fortune teller. <laughs> just a little old me. You must have heard about the guy who fell from the casino's building. The victim was nearly killed by someone who works there. I bet he knew too much about your secret. Damn, does he? If you know something... You better cough it up now, or you might be next. <laughs> and if you're working with dangerous <laughs> people, you should call it quits today. We can take care of the rest, so tell us what you know. <laughs> As you said, 
Uh, My okay. job is to lure customers in and guide them to the casino. Damn, really is. I wonder how much is getting paid for that. The lucky number thing is all a lie. In fact, if they pick those numbers, they will surely lose. Oh, giving them like bad numbers too. But I truly believed it was my lucky day. <laughs> but I thought it was. I'm sorry. I actually don't know how to tell anyone's fortune. I just followed the manual. Damn, fake. And that manual was made by the casino? Yes. Okay. Cheating is rampant in the casino. They really conduct some dirty business there. Literally just like an employee at the casino, they told. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you look creepy enough to pretend to be a fortune teller on the street. Do you know the man who fell from the building? Yes. He's what they call a hired plant. Oh, what the? He mixes in with the customers and steers them a certain way so the casino can cheat them. Oh, damn. So... My ears perked up when I heard he attempted to kill himself. Would it be like somebody who got scammed that killed him then? I knew he'd made a mistake and was being silenced. I see. Mm. So that's what it was. Damn, girl, you might want to quit. The man was a plant hired by the casino. Hey, Jesus. are you really going to do something about them? If they find out I told you all this, leave it to me. Who do you think I am? I... And the superstar detective, slayer of like evil, slay? Jesse Ego Thunderbolt. You definitely are slay, does you? That's not very reassuring. It appears the entire casino is in on this crime. There will only be more victims if we leave them be. We might as well see this through to the end. Though, I bet the chief would tell us to stay out of trouble. But what shall we do? We like even a single piece of evidence. I would feel terrible if we had to involve the fortune teller more than necessary. I guess we'll have to rush in from the front. Which means we are going on an adventure! Yeah! <laughs> nice. Are they really gonna be <laughs> alright? <laughs> Looks like it. I have no confidence in these dumbasses. The two dumbest detectives. <laughs> Working together. I like how he emphasized Slay too. This looks like the place. He's like Slay or <laughs> Indeed. Do you have a plan to see? He knew what he was doing. Of course. The plan name is Leave Things to Chance. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That sounds exciting. Let's go, Fubuki. <laughs> uh Disney Eco and Fubuki are kind of a good pair though, because she <laughs> it's the only one who just like goes with whatever he says and gasses him up. Right. Wait. Oh, Hilara's here. What are you doing here? <laughs> Laura's like, I've already solved this case, dumbasses. I knew you'd rush in without a plan. You are correct, Halara. <laughs> Carelessly sowing confusion will simply result in more victims. Don't be so rash. Are you trying to get in our way? It'd be one thing if you just stayed out of it. I'm saying the two of you don't stand a chance. If you're up against a casino, let me handle it. Huh? Are you going to help us? Bet on me and you are sure to win. Oh yeah, I guess. Listen, here's the plan. Hilari is really good at gambling, right? I think I do remember them uh, gambling a lot at the, uh, you know, <laughs> at the submarine or whatever. Man, Hilar, are you gonna start stop char charging Yuma though? I guess Yuma probably is rich since he's like the leader of the you know detective agency or whatever. But still, charging my man for no reason. Oh man, that guy looks sad. Man, last time I went to casino, Welcome. I did nothing but the slot machines, and like, I only, every time I go to a casino, I only ever do like $20 or something. I just kind of have like a set amount, and I'm like, ah, this is what I would spend like an arcade, so I'll just, you know, do it here instead. But God, I think like the only time I won was when I won less money than what I put in. I would put in like 50 cents, and I would win like 25 cents back and be like, you won. I was like, yeah. I was like, but you still lost money. I was like, ah. God damn it. I'd like to convert all this into chips. Uh, right away. Cool. 
call the owner over. I'd like to play a game. Ooh. Um. I know Halara's gonna be a boss, a boss at this. Tell the owner I want to talk to him about that attempted suicide. I never gamble, I don't trust myself at all. I feel like as long as I put aside money for it and just like treat it like an arcade, then that's kinda what I do, but I'd rather just go to an arcade, honestly. At least those games are fun. It's like slot machine, you just spin the wheel and that's it. Uh, understood. How can I help you? You don't seem affiliated with the peacekeepers. I'll be direct. Mm. You try I'm about to, to erase fuck you up, old man. Plans. Mm. What are you talking about? I'll bet all of my chips. If you win, then this issue will disappear. We'll conclude our investigation and never return. And of course, you can keep all the chips. Seriously? Halora, <laughs> are you sure about this? <laughs> Why don't we just arrest him or something? And if you win? You will confess your crimes and turn yourself into the peacekeepers. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. I don't know what crime you're speaking of, but... Beep. Music this game so good. As the owner of the casino, I <laughs> cannot turn down such a direct challenge. I'm still not admitting to it, though. I expect you to keep your word. Of course, and you as well. So, what would you like to play? Bring some dice. A game of craps? Yes, but let's cut out all of the complicated rules. This game will consist of four dice. Man, if they really did try to kill him, they're definitely gonna go to. <laughs> they're definitely gonna try to, like, finish the job in the hospital later, you know? God, I can only imagine how pissed off this casino owner is. He's like, what do you mean he's not dead? Thank you, Janae Nicole. Halara, I've got bills to pay, and you will pay them. <sighs> Halara is such a dumb boss. I love them. Each player will take two and roll them at the same time. Whoever gets exactly seven wins. Halara knows how to cheat. If both rolls land on seven, then it's a draw. And, the game and of continues. course, yeah, the culprit's an old man, as always. Very well. We will prepare the dice. We. Are you fine with that? Cheaters. I don't mind. I don't know what they're up to. I don't know how Halara plans to uh, avoid their cheating. Especially if they're preparing the dice. Guess we could take a look at them before and kind of see what's up with them. You'll roll the dice. What? Me? But you are far better at gambling, Halara. I'm going to find out what's going on. Just roll the dice like you normally would. However, if the opponent rolls a seven, turn back time. Mm. Oh, right. I did have <laughs> that ability. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Are you ready? Let's play. It's probably going to roll a seven like every time. It's just cheating, right? Yep. <laughs> of course. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, well. Looks like that's Looks game. like that's game. Like, look at his dice. It's all just four and threes. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't, don't investigate those dice any, for, any uh, further. However, if the opponent rolls a seven, turn back time. Halara, I just turned back time. He rolled a seven right at the start. And yes, my shocker. roll was terrible, by the way. I completely lost. I knew it. But you can do this as many times as you want. That's your strength. R right. <laughs> right, it just drains all my energy and I'm on the verge of death, but it's fine. Are you done with your huddle? No amount of planning will help with dice. You must let luck take over from here. Oh, thank you, Ari, for the donation. Appreciate ya. I'm late, what did I miss? Basically, Desuhiko being a dumbass and a creeper and goofy. What did Desuhiko is? We're doing on Fabuki's right now, and she's just being silly. <laughs> she's just being silly and goofy. We've had Holara bossing it up too, even though we're not even at their DLC yet. Now, let us play. Yes, game on. Game on. It's time to da 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 da, -da duel. This time. It was worse somehow this time. <laughs> How did I get worse? Why? 
Well, well. Looks well, like well. That's game. <laughs> Keep doing it. How many times is she gonna have to rewind before she finally rolls However, a seven? If the opponent rolls a seven, turn back time. What happens if they both roll a seven too? I've never actually played this game. <sighs> I have returned. This is the second time. The opponent rolled seven on the first throw both times. And the timing of the dice roll was different from before. So I thought there would be different numbers. Okay, that's why it ended up being different. Um, he still got a seven, but it was different numbers. It was like a six and a one this time. Are casino owners blessed with natural luck? <laughs> sure. No, it's not luck. He's probably cheating. Ch cheating? <gasps> Seems Gasp! like he's going all out. Well then, there's no reason for us to hold back either. You gonna do it this time, Halara? Uh, but what are you going to do? If he can cast a seven each time through cheating, no amount of turning back time will help. Moreover, there is a limit to how many times I can use my ability. There is a way to prevent his cheating. Really? However, prevention doesn't guarantee us victory. In order for us to win, you must roll a seven. Oh, right. Can you do it this time, Fubuki? I can certainly try. <laughs> I can keep trying. I became a detective by challenging my own fate. I refuse to lose here. It's your luckiest day, Fubuki. You gotta do it. I'll join you in your battle. Right. Are you done with your little meeting? You can talk all you want, but I don't think it will change the numbers on the dice. Now, shall we play? Before we begin, I'm thirsty. Can I get some water? Very well. Hmm. What are they up to? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, Lara's gonna switch out the dice. Ah. What are you trying? I got to it. Do? My hand slipped. <laughs> Let's begin. Very well. I'm counting on you, Fubuki. This game won't end until you roll a seven. Okay, wait. I thought uh, I thought Hilari's gonna be like, "Oh, can you pick it up?" And then they would switch out the dice. But we'll see. Leave it to me. Come on, seven. <laughs> Come spooky, on, dude. seven. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, girl. There. You. Wait. How did you? Oh, what the? <laughs> that was your plan. <laughs> Oh! It's Desu Hiko, isn't it? Totally. I won! I really won! <laughs> Lily Lara just flipping it over. <laughs> Impossible! I can't lose with Damn, these that's dice. crazy! Seems like the game is over. Damn. You must now confess your crimes. <laughs> oh, God. That was so funny, Lara just. <laughs> Ain't even wipe off the blood. <laughs> For real. That was a pretty good idea, though. I guess that was how. That was Hilaria's plan the whole time. Should have never doubted them for a second. I'm glad to see you have regained consciousness. <laughs> Are you all right after that awful fall? <laughs> nah, that guy's dead. It's just me, Dezu. What? No, it's me, <laughs> Dezu Hiko. Uh, hmm? We went over this before we entered the casino. <laughs> Are you even listening? Oh, uh, she's just like me for real. As I suspected, the dice used by the casino were rigged. The victim must have intended to let others know about it with a dying message. It was obvious they'd cheat if we challenged them to a match involving dice. Which is where I came in. Well, I distracted the staff. Halara messed with the dice. So that is what happened. I was only able to win thanks to Halara. No, I didn't touch your dice, Fubuki. Whoa. Huh? Then I really rolled a seven on my own? I was kind of wondering that. I was like, I don't think I saw Halara touch her dice. Yes, you won that game. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank goodness. I just I touched the game. other guy's dice. Great job, princess. Yes, even if it was just a little bit, I believe I grew as a detective. Cute. 
Yay! Happy ending, except for the guy who's in a coma for the rest of his life. <laughs> Eternity, actually, because he's a zombie. <laughs> or homocula, actually, is a more accurate term. Taking up more gambling. Hey, Lara, please do something. Fubuki has been completely obsessed since that day. There's no way I can win against someone who can turn back time. How <laughs> rude. I would never cheat like that. <laughs> Come on, Desuhiko. One more game. <laughs> she did do the wink. <laughs> I can see you winking, bro. Thank you, Brian Ford. These three do make a good team. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I like all three of them together. I mean, I liked the other story, but I did like this uh, one better, I think. Mostly because, yeah, it's just like, kind of nice to have more characters involved in it. The last one was like, mostly just Dazuhiko, you know? It's nice to see, like, you know, multiple detectives bouncing off of each other. Even if it is, like, one person's story more so than the other's. Because yeah, I was a little worried after the first one. I was like, man, are we just going to be following, like, one detective by themselves the whole time? Just interacting with, like, NPCs? I mean, I guess we did have Yako a little bit, but it was mostly, mostly pretty strongly Desuhiko. Okay, next one is Hilaris. I'm kind of curious what Hilaris is going to be about since, um... It was like raining cats and dog. <laughs> I'm just glad animals might be involved. As long as they don't die, that is. Lara time! But yeah, the DLC has been cute so far. It's been fun. That Hilara called Desuhiko and Fubuki friends in and of itself is really sweet. I know, yeah, it was pretty cute. On to my favorite DLC. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Wait, are they in Yako's Lara, chair? Did you know where the milk <laughs> I put in the fridge went? How hey, wait a second. Coffee? It's mm, meat bud flavored. Me. That's my <laughs> seat, you know. How much? Huh? <laughs> How much do you want for it? I'll pay your asking price. My well, seat now, bitch. You gotta be kidding. Fine. Just keep sitting there. I will. Take the money, Yako. Huh? They're just so gonna do what they coming. want anyways. I wasn't expecting guests today. <laughs> ah, who's this? Lara fangirl. <laughs> right this way. It's a bit cramped in here. That's like, uh, that was just my first thought. God, you know what? I hope the Vivia one is about the <laughs> What was the name of that guy who was like in love with Vivia? It was like a sad man or something. <laughs> God, I hope it's his story. Thank you, NR China 20 Rose. Wait till you hear the reason Halara takes the case. <laughs> Money? <laughs> I have a feeling. Are you the chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency? My name is Tetra. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Actually, yeah, whatever. I'll just... I don't want to explain it. I'm the chief. That's just one of our detectives. Oh, excuse me. Your detective was sitting at the biggest desk here, so I assumed that... My seat gets stolen the moment I leave it open. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody respects me here. Um, Worried man, that's uh, what it let's was. Sit down. Um, I was told you investigate murders. A murder case? Uh, it's possible for us to handle it, but what we can or can't do depends on whether or not the peacekeepers mm -hmm. have already gone through it. It's just gonna be that this lady's rich, and that's why Halara's like, I'll take it! <laughs> I see. She's like, ah, oh, damn, I guess I'll just drive my Tesla out of here and go to my $10 million mansion. And I was like, wait a second. I think I'm, I might have a personal interest in this case. My father passed away in a rather bizarre manner. The peacekeepers declared it was an accidental death. But I just can't believe it was an accident. 
The peacekeepers usually try to declare <clears throat> any unnatural deaths as accidents. Why do you suspect that it wasn't one? My father kept tropical fish as a hobby. One morning, Ew. he was found dead. Drowned with his head stuck in the fish tank. Yeah, that's a pretty weird death. <laughs> no, he just stripped and it's too lazy to move his head. Like, I guess if he was like old, then maybe he got stuck there or something. But yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty weird death. Thank you, big chunk of meat butts. <laughs> no. <laughs> Must be one comfortable chair if Alara is willing to pay asking price for it. It does look pretty comfy. God, it was when I was on vacation, I think there was one place we went to that did sell meat buns. I was this close to buying one. But I was like, I can't do it. Do you really think that could be an accident? He drowned with his head stuck in a fish tank? <laughs> can you describe the situation? The fish tank is set rather low, so you can view it from above. Okay. My father was in a kneeling position with his head dunked into the water. You can view it from above, so it's like a big tank that hangs, I guess, above the room. Hmm. That sure is bizarre. What did the peacekeepers have to say? Like, yeah, too tripped, whatever. They say he was electrocuted. Oh. And passed out when he touched the temperature control switch with wet hands. Okay, I guess that would do it. And he fell into the water and drowned, unfortunately. Are you sure the cause of death was drowning? Yes. That appears to be the case, without a doubt. A trustworthy doctor did the autopsy. I see. Well, from what you've said, you can't really deny that it could have been an accident. No, the problem is the room where my father passed away. It was mm. obvious that someone else had rummaged around. Interesting. What do you mean? Well, the room has lots of tropical fish tanks lined up. But on the day my father died, all of them were shattered to pieces. <laughs> what if it was just like a cat? <laughs> oh yeah, we did have a pet cat that was fucking around with stuff, I guess. <laughs> that was the only reason why stuff was knocked over, because that is definitely cat behavior. And there was cats in the title of this, uh, in the title of this mystery. And of course there was water and dead fish all over the floor. Someone Yikes. must have forced their way into the room to do something so terrible. I don't really see the point of busting all this stuff open. The peacekeepers were just like, mm, <laughs> mm, he probably did that while he was being electrocuted, you know? <laughs> Started smashing everything before he drowned himself. I believe my father was murdered by whoever did that. Mm. This must be a murder. Please, uncover the truth of my father. What do you oh, think, sorry. Alara? Sorry, girl. <laughs> sorry that you're pouring your heart out. <laughs> just want to skip that, you know, because Alara. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Don't lie. There's no way you couldn't hear us. You can assume I don't exist, unless pay is involved. I can pay. My father left me an inheritance. Oh, don't mind my detective. Our rates are always reasonable here. <laughs> no, they're not. Then you'll investigate this case on my behalf? Huh? Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. As detectives sworn to protect this town, we can't leave any mysteries unsolved. Thank you. I'm so happy I worked up the courage to come here. <laughs> Jago, I was kind of surprised he's even taken it because he's so like uh, anti-work. The Nocturnal Detective Agency is here to protect the peace of Kanai Ward. You can always count on us. As for investigating this case, we'll check out the crime scene soon. Promise. Okay, it seems kind of interesting. I guess we'll see. I hope it is a cat, though. <laughs> That's my running theory. Jeez. <laughs> Alara's pronouns revealed pay up. <laughs> that was rather reckless of you to promise. It's not like I have For a real, choice. real, honestly. I can't just abandon people in need. I'm Yaku Furio, chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. I gotta protect this town. Do you even have a single lead to solve this case? What? <laughs> of course. I'm a detective, after all. If I proceed with the investigation, I'm sure I can find some kind of clue. But I'll need your help, Halara. That depends on the payment. <clears throat> you know I don't have a lot of money. And you know that I don't work for cheap. Then, how about a deal instead? A deal? What deal? If you solve this case, I'll let you <laughs> keep a cat here. Oh, hell yeah. 
that's where the cat comes in. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Isn't Alara allergic to cats, though? <laughs> really? I guess uh, they can get like a bald cat, though, right? Yes, really. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Running out the door. <laughs> the true way to get Alara to work. Dude, that's what Yuma needs to do. Just get a cat. <laughs> to the crime scene. <laughs> Hold on. The client just left. <laughs> we gotta solve this ASAP. Why don't you wait until tomorrow? Uh, they're so relatable. Fine. <laughs> I shall review the case's records until then. And also, look at adoption pictures. Alara's fee is cheaper than <laughs> I thought. Oh my goodness. Lara needs the uh, CAD distribution system. <laughs> oh my goodness. Raining cats and dog. I wonder why it is so low for the dog. I guess it could have been a dog that broke the tanks and stuff too. Thank you, and our channel 20 rose. Best reason to take the case, right? Knew you would <laughs> Honestly, I love it. I do. Halara's so cute. I love cats too. I would do the same thing, Halara. The same thing. Thank you for coming. You really are willing to investigate the case. Here's well, this guy. That's our duty at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Your house is pretty big. Mm. Your father must have been well off. Laura's like, score. Cat and money, score. Yes. My father owned a medical devices company. He contributed to Kanai Ward's medical advancements for years. Okay. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Would be a nice detail if we saw the cat. Um, they kept in the main game. That'd be really cute. Oh yeah, I think uh, just a reminder that yeah, Halara's pronouns are that they them. That would be super cute though. I guess we'll see if they even end up getting one though. I guess we'll see. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. I simply can't believe he met his end like this. We'll find justice for him. Thank you. I am in your debt. This is my fiance, Jaren. We've been living together for about a year now. I feel like this guy's sussy too, just cause it's like, I don't think she would report on her own murder if she did it. But this guy, I don't trust him. Nice to meet you. Who's named Jaren anyways? I'd like to ask you more about the details later, but can we take a look at the scene for now? Oh, before that, do you have a photo of your father? Of course. Here's a picture from when he was still alive. Thank you. Alara, over here. Okay. I'll leave the investigation to you. It's a bit too cramped for all of us to be wandering about. Mm -hmm. I'll keep speaking to them outside. Talk to me when you're done. Remember, you do all the work and you get the cat. Understood. <laughs> Not the bowl cut. <laughs> no. Time oh, to review gosh. the cards I've been dealt. Oh uh, yeah, we can use uh, their ability too. That'd be cool. Investigation. Ooh, definitely want to remember this. Large image. Like we didn't even really use the clues last time, did we? Okay, we actually do get to do kind of an investigation though. How do I use their ability again? I see. I don't think they really mentioned to ha like how to use it though. The equipment and food for the tropical fish are packed to place together. Seems like nothing has been used since the incident. There's some dust. Cause yeah, all I mentioned was just getting clues. Floor. Right. There are some stains on the floor. It is likely due to the water spilled from the fish tanks. Other than that, nothing else seems suspicious. New clue. Stains caused by spilling water on the floor. Whoa. Okay, yeah, I was like, thought maybe it was like the L2 trigger, but yeah, I think we'll probably just do it later. Window. It's a regular sliding window with a crescent lock. Okay. There are no suspicious marks on it. But it's voice acted, so it seems important. There is a small veranda outside. We're on the second floor, so any rain that falls off the eaves flows to the drain. Damn, it does rain so much that we have to install a drain on the balcony. It's wild. Window crescent, there's no suspicious marks. Second floor veranda, rain flows, eaves into the drain. Okay. Oh, the vent! <laughs> yeah, they can definitely travel in the vent. <laughs> Just small ass vent. Look at the fish tanks too. It's just reminding me of my failure during uh, what was it? I think it was like chapter two <laughs> when I thought there was a secret tunnel in the tanks. God, oh that was so stupid. An ordinary vent. Hmm? There's some blue paint on the inner side of the frame. Looks like something rubbed against it. 
This may have something to do with the case. Okay. Rub marks and what looks like blue paint are in the inside of the frame. That's pretty weird. Damn, this guy loved fish. Bunch of fish pictures. What is this? Mm, There's a or stain something? here that looks like a horizontal line. You know, it's like, I guess it could be like blue paint from this sort of coming off, and then I guess they like got it on the uh, vent. Upon close inspection, there appears to be a faint outline of the same stain along all four walls. I think we all thought there is a secret passage in those fish, <laughs> in those fish tanks. Oh my god. Oh man, I felt so stupid, but I was so sure of it. <laughs> okay, anything over here to investigate? I guess the door. Bunch of marks on here too. I guess it could just be there old and dirty. There's a sticky substance stuck to the door frame. Perhaps tape residue? Okay. Tape residue on the door frame. What if they could have snuck in from the outside? I guess there wasn't any like mysterious marks, but still. It does seem like a pretty easy way to enter. What was this guy's beef with the fish? All of the fish tanks have been shattered. There is broken glass scattered on the inside. Which means it's certain someone smashed it inward. Why would someone do this? Yeah, especially if like, I don't know, I guess they just are like, eh, whatever, the peacekeepers aren't gonna do anything anyways. They're just gonna say it's a sewer slide no matter what, so. New clue. Not really any reason to <laughs> hide your crime at all when you live here. I've investigated the things of note, but. Okay. Time to do a special power time, right? That's about all I can investigate for now. I should go talk to our clients before I observe the crime scene at the time the body was okay. discovered. The crime scene has been inspected, Chief. Thanks. Okay, I wonder where we're waiting. There are a few things Fish I'd like to confirm. <laughs> yes. Please ask me anything. But Jerry, I'm just like, he just loved those fucking fish so much. <laughs> loved those fish more than he loved me. Well, I'll show them. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming at this rate. Can you give me the details of when you discovered the body? It was, I think, around six in the morning. My father usually woke up early for breakfast. But when I went to get him, he wasn't in his room. So I looked around and noticed Sugar barking at this room. Oh, Sugar. Okay, so that's the dog. Sugar? <laughs> that's the name of our dog. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Just a little guy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my goodness, so cute. I guess Lara <laughs> likes dogs too. Aw, look at them go! <laughs> Sugar sure is happy. She's rarely friendly with anyone. Aw, cute. She barks at me all the time. Oh, that's cause that's cause Sugar knows you're fucked up, Jaren. Oh, it's not even Jer um, it's Jaren. Send this man off to jail. Thank you, Yona. Will you ever do a Milgram update? I love your videos. Yeah, I'm planning on it. Honestly, I kinda wanna see if I can like film a reaction to the newest ones and post reactions to them. It's just trying to like get around copyright, so I've been kinda putting it off. But I do plan on making more videos of it. I just kinda need to I don't know, get a backlog ahead so I can kinda experiment more with stuff like that. But thank you for the donation, appreciate ya. There, there. Let me get it. Uh, shall we continue? Oh, sorry. Dogs, I feel like animals in general can definitely tell when somebody's evil. Sugar was barking in front of the room, so I opened the door to take a look. And then Sugar was barking in front of the room, and Sugar is always barking at Jaren. She knew, she knew Jaren was in the room killing. There I saw my father. His head was in the fish tank. He was already gone. So sad. I heard her scream and ran over. No. What I saw took my breath away. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you ran over from the outside of the back. <laughs> and he was drenched in rain for some reason. The fish tanks were all destroyed. The floor was covered with water. All the tropical fish father loved were scattered across the floor. Were they valuable? I'm not sure. I don't know how much they were worth, but the fact is my father cared for them a great deal. If the fish were expensive, do you think someone tried to steal them? You know, they just kind of busted everything open. It seemed like a act of like rage. Are you implying my father's murder was an afterthought? Well, I'm just considering possibilities. 
If they were going to steal the fish, I doubt they'd smash the tanks. Yeah. You're right. Do you know the estimated time of death for the victim? Um... I believe it was around 10 o'clock the night before. When was the last time you saw him alive? Right around 7 that night. I ate dinner with him. He went to his room after that. Okay. According to the Peacekeeper's investigation, the victim died around 10 p.m. Does anyone else live here? It's just me and him now. The servant left after making dinner before 7. What about Jaren? Tell me, what were you doing around 10 that night? Um, after finishing dinner with my father, I did some cleaning and washed the dishes. Jaren came to the dining hall around 8 for dinner. Of course he did. And then we watched TV in the living room until around midnight. Okay. Yes. I know for certain we were together between 8 and midnight. But did he go to the bathroom? I'm watching you. I'm watching you! Did you ever get up during that time? As such as to go to the bathroom? Oh yeah, Yakko's right with me. I don't think so. Were there any screams or sounds of a struggle around 10 at night? No, not at all. I see. That leaves me wondering who entered that room, when they did, and why they smashed all the fish tanks. I feel like smashing all the fish tanks would be pretty loud, too. The fish tanks are large and have thick glass. You'd think you'd hear them being smashed. For real. True. All I know for certain is that we didn't hear anything like that. For at least, from at least 8 p.m. to around midnight, Jaren was with Tetra. I bet he was. <laughs> I guess he does kind of have an alibi now, but I still don't trust him or his bowl cut. Do you often come in and out of this room? Not at all. Only my father used this room. What was Sugar's alibi? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What did the peacekeepers have to say when they saw the state of things in the room? They said my father was stressed out. That he lost control and smashed all the tanks himself. Mm. Was he actually stressed out? Truth be told, my father was lamenting over a prized tropical fish he had accidentally okay. killed that morning. Interesting. I thought he could have done something extreme, given how much he regretted his mistake. He did yeah. look rather depressed. Still, my mild-mannered father would never do something like this. He's so upset over that one fish's death, he kills the rest of them. That'll make him feel better. Did you notice anything strange about your father during dinner? He was sad about the fish, but he ate normally. I didn't notice anything in particular. It's hard to think he was so distraught that he'd smash all the tanks on his own. You're right. But that's what the peacekeepers told us happened. I'll take another look around. For now, I'd like to ask you to leave the room. So you're gonna do that thing, yeah? I'm counting on you. Let's wait outside. Okay. Hopefully we can get some actual clues this time. Something actually sussy. Would be kind of sad if it was Sugar. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's not. I still think it's Jaren, but it's mostly because we don't don't really have that many suspects in the first place. Like the trump card is still face down. It's either the lady who called us or the random dude that's like with her. Time to use my post cognition to see how things were at the time the body was first discovered. <laughs> oh, so epic. Okay. I'm just gonna do this one first. Broken fish tank. I see. All tanks seem to have been smashed inward. There's not much difference from the room in its present state. Okay, so same thing. Okay, so would he have done that and then just somebody killed him afterwards? I see. At the time the body was found, many things were scattered around. Could this sort of mess be caused by just a broken fish tank? Okay, equipment we used for keeping tropical fish was scattered around. Was he having a mental breakdown or something? I don't know. Oh no! Tropical fish. <laughs> it's everywhere. Nemo! The whole floor is completely drenched. Damn. I think I saw Dory over there too, on the other side of the room. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh man. Now how will his dad find him? Window. This definitely seems important. It's not locked. Oh. Anyone can come and go through here. Yeah, for sure. I was like, they definitely would have entered through here. It seems like the easiest place, at least. Perhaps this is how the culprit entered the place. 
Updated. Okay. Oh no, another one! There's a dead tropical fishing <laughs> drain on the veranda. Was Nemo's dad trying to get it? <laughs> but he couldn't. He couldn't do it. Oh hey, it's what's his face? iCarly. He dove into this <laughs> into this sewer uh, too. Why would that be there? Is he really trying to steal the fish? No, Nemo's dead, damn it. Where's Dory? Oh, there's Dory over here. Two Dorys. <laughs> R.I.P. in peace, Dory. R.I.P. in peace. The paint stuck on the frame can be seen here. Even when seen through post-cognition rub marks and what looks like blue paint were on the inside of the frame. Okay, interesting. Hmm. It seems the stains on the walls were present when the body was found. I don't see any particular differences. No, the stains are darker than they are currently. Does that mean they were made around this time? Okay. I was kind of wondering that too. Even when seen through post-cognition, all four walls had stains resembling horizontal lines. It's like, maybe it just didn't take care of this room, but they're darker than it probably is that, uh, you know, happened then. The victim's body is kneeling against the edge of a fish tank with his head inside. Like the other tanks, this one is smashed up too. Looking closely, he is soaking wet. It would make sense if it was just his upper body. But for his whole body to be soaked is unusual. They struggle outside maybe in the rain? Body was kneeling against the edge of the tank with the head inside it. Okay. Then we got the door still. Hmm. Even post-cognition, traces of a sticky substance are on the frame with some kind of tape stuck on. They tape the door to like seal noise from leaving or something, maybe? Maybe. I'm beginning to see the truth behind this case. That's all the investigating I need to do for now. Okay, an investigation. Are you done? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, she got a little toy this the time. The dog has something in her mouth. Oh, I wish Peanut was in here. He's probably outside cuddling with a boyfriend though. Peanut, I miss you. Hey, sugar. What's this? So cute. What is that? That's sugar's favorite toy. Okay. It's just a rubber hose tied up in a knot. I was like, can was a toy or like a hose for like uh, like a tube used for the fish tank? Ever since she was a puppy, Sugar has loved playing tug of war with a rubber hose. Oh my goodness. So I still make toys out of hoses like this. That's cute. But I don't think I made one for her recently. Hmm. Where did she get it from? Oh, it is a tube from the fish tank, isn't it? Wow, that's interesting. Let me take a look. Wait, don't touch it. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? <laughs> Postcognition on it. Put that in a plastic bag without touching it directly. I believe it's evidence. That's evidence? Consider it a precaution. Here we go. Sugar's favorite toy. A short rubber hose tied to a knot. Um, how's the investigation going? Are the peacekeepers right? Did my father pass away due to an accident? Or was it... Sugar helping us solve the case. Isn't that a good girl? The answer is clear. This was no accident, but a murder. Huh? Really? What makes you think it's a murder? My thinking. I don't actually have to choose anything. The walls, the fish tank, the window, the floor. It's probably the window, right? I feel like that's the biggest. Uh... Wet, open, shattered, dry. Yeah, it was open. No, it's what? not enough to disprove the theory that it was an accident. God damn it! Reviewing it more carefully. Okay, the fish tank, the walls, the windows, the floors. Talk about the fish on the outside of the area. I mean, I feel like that's a pretty big one. Can I go back? Shatter, dry. I feel like it's the fish on the tank or whatever. <laughs> God dang it, this isn't gonna be it either. Open, shattered, dry. <laughs> I'm just choosing random no, shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be a murder because the walls, the stain on the walls, the windows, the floor, and the window, it's like shattered, dry. I feel like his body being wet is pretty weird too. I don't know if it would be the fish tank being shattered. 
I feel like that's already kind of like a thing. The walls. Wet, open, shattered. <laughs> I guess they were more like... No, it's God not damn it. The fish tanks. Shattered? The door was dry. The victim died oh, really? with his head in the fish okay. tank. Is that right? Yes, that is certain. As you can see, this fish tank was destroyed like all the others. That is far too strange. It means something logically uh, impossible occurred. Duh, how did he drown in there? They broke the fish tank first. I think I was actually kind of thinking about that when I was investigating too, but I think it didn't really process completely. Impossible? What do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain it. If the victim drowned with his head in the tank, then it had to be filled with water. But as you can see, the fish tank is destroyed. Meaning it is unable to contain water. Yeah. Like with the other tanks, the water spilled out when it was smashed, emptying it. So how could the victim drown in a fish tank that held no water? Oh. Got him. Now that you mention it. That'd be pretty weird. The peacekeepers claim the victim was disoriented and smashed the fish tanks himself. But if the victim was still alive when he smashed the fish tanks, it would have been impossible for him to have drowned. That was a pretty dumb way to make it look like a sewer slide. <laughs> it's like, yeah, after he smashed the fish tanks, he drowned himself in it. In other words, the victim was drowned, then placed next to the fish tank to make it seem like an accident. The culprit must have believed this camouflage would be enough to fool the peacekeepers. I guess the peacekeepers don't really give a crap, so that's probably why. So my father was murdered. Yes, there is no mistake about it. This is murder. Hold on. If the culprit wanted to make the victim look like he drowned, why did they destroy the fish tank? <laughs> the murderer is just stupid. Really, really stupid. Didn't they realize the cover <laughs> yeah. would be blown? Yeah, for real. And plus, all the fish tanks were destroyed. Not just that one. It must have been part of their plan for the peacekeepers to overlook this contradiction. However, destroying the tanks required a lot of effort. If the culprit did so despite the contradiction it created. I guess it's like, hmm. once, you know, the daughter to know it is a murder, but like, you know, they know that the peacekeepers are going to overlook it anyways. Then we have to assume there was an unavoidable reason behind it. An unavoidable reason. So, who is the culprit? I must investigate further to find that out. I'll report back once I find the answer. Yes, please. Has anyone outside your family entered or left the house recently? I don't think so. Were there any tradesmen who came to work on your place? I can't think of any. Allow me to change the question. Have you recently done any remodeling or repairs to the home? Okay. Oh, now that you mention it, the rain gutters on the roof were broken, so... <laughs> I bet he did! I bet he fucking did! He fixed the rain gutters? <laughs> okay, yeah, I was just waiting. I think Alara and me were both telepathic, too. We were both like, this fucking bitch did it. Yes, he's an avid DIYer. Oh my god. He not only fixed the broken parts, but also checked the gutters around the whole building. Isn't he just the perfect man? Ha! <laughs> Rain gutters, the floor were broken, so Jaren fixed them. I see. Fucking Jaren. That concludes my investigation. Did he fill the whole room with water now that I think about it? Is that what the stains are from on the wall and why he taped the door shut? So that's how he drowned the dad? I kind of feel like it is, honestly. I guess we'll see, but maybe. What? Are you sure that's enough? Because yeah, the whole floor is soaked too. Jeez, you're always off in your own world. They just open the door to like, um, whatchamacallit, let the water out, and then there's the gutter on the porch, so then it like goes, it drains through there. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Think so. Our ace detective isn't very friendly. I mean, I would think it would be like the water would fill to the line on the wall though. It's like, I don't know if this guy just didn't know how to swim, but we'll see. That being said, I believe this case will be solved soon. Please be patient for just a bit longer. But I think that does explain everything. Thank you. Then he just, you know, busted the tanks because I don't know, he's just a dick. It's like, why? Why did my parents name me Jaren? I'd have a lot of anger too, Jaren. I understand. I understand. 
Fedora pets are popular. Alara, just as you suspected, it could be the fiance. Jaren has been living in the client's home and mooching off her since he got fired from his job <laughs> in your back. He's in quite a lot of debt, too. Damn. At one point, he was spending almost all his time in casinos. He kept asking the client's father for money, but was uh... always denied. Seems the father was also against their marriage. Damn. She didn't tell us any of that stuff. I guess she just, like, doesn't want to realize, like, believe it. But still, girly, come so on. money is the motive. If Always. the father were to die, the daughter would inherit everything. So if he married her, the money would be his. Makes sense. The thing is, that man has an alibi. Did the water go through, like, the vent, maybe? The victim's estimated time of death is 10 at night. There's no mistake that Jaren was with the client at that time. I guess he did do, like, the gutter system or whatever, so he just probably made it to where he could do water through there while he has, like, an alibi watching Netflix with his girl. Yeah, it makes no sense to suspect Tetra, since she's our client. So we have to assume his alibi is airtight. Right. I agree. Uh, his alibi is perfect. Not only was he with Tetra at 10, but he was also with her for two hours before and after. So, as it stands, it's impossible for him to have killed the victim. No, the alibi isn't a problem. It's possible if a certain trick was used. A trick? But I still lack hard evidence. Perhaps it's worth rolling the dice here. The dice. Hey. It's like the last case. Are you sure about this? We'll make our move tonight. Let's go to the client. Okay. I'm trying to think of how the glass is smashed, though, because I don't think he actually went there. Because the dad could have smashed the glass. And then Jaren just, like, flooded the room or whatever. That's, like, such an unbelievably complicated murder. <laughs> like, I don't know if he really had to do all that, you know what I mean? Like, I guess, but it's like the peacekeepers don't really care anyways. I guess he just wanted to make it, like, complicated for his fiance to not find out. Beautiful. Is it true that you know the truth behind this case? That's right, miss. Allow me to explain. <laughs> Jared's like, ah, oh, thank God. I was just so worried about my bestie. The key detail for this case is the victim's cause of death. Without a doubt, the victim died by drowning. But making it look like he drowned in the fish tank was camouflage. Why would such a thing even be needed? Because it secured the killer's alibi. You said that the victim's time of death was around 10 p.m. In other words, the culprit secured their alibi at the same time as they murdered the victim. Is that really possible? Through a certain trick, it was possible to drown the victim even if the culprit wasn't there. Drown him without being there? Yep. The trick the culprit used was... Oh, here we go. The vent, the fish tank, the hose, the body. Oh. Um. The vent or the hose? The hose does seem important, too. I was kind of thinking the vent, though, first and foremost. What did he work on again? Let me just try that first. Flooded the room, sealed the room. Definitely flooded the room. But I could see being the hose. I can't disprove the album. Okay, never mind. The hose! Flooded the room. First. There we go. It involves <laughs> this rubber hose. It's but just so small. Sugar's toy. If you untie the knot, it returns to being a hose. This was what was first used in the crime. Man, he gave the murder weapon to the sugar. I can forgive you for killing the dad, but not for tainting sugar. How was it used? Don't tell me that's the murder weapon. If you check the vent, you'll see the color of paint scraped oh, on there matches the hose. They put it through the vent, duh. It was likely passed through the vent. Someone put Makes the sense. hose in the vent. Why would anyone do that? It's nothing special. The hose was simply used for its original purpose. Its original purpose? One end of the hose was placed on the edge of the rain gutter on the veranda side. Prior to this, the culprit adjusted the rain gutter uh, so that the hose could be inserted into it. Damn. The rainwater from the gutter passed through the hose, filling the room. Yeah, the girl's like, who would do that? Wait a second, wasn't it you, Jared, who worked on that? Huh? 
What do you mean? H Hilari, you, you think this place got flooded with rainwater? That would drench the whole place. When the body was found, the room was, in fact, drenched. But that was because of the broken fish tanks, right? That's part of it. But the main reason was due to rainwater pouring into the enclosed room. <gasps> Look at fucking Jaren. Hmm. Interesting. Who who worked on the who worked on the drains, I wonder? Must have been sugar. <laughs> I never I never trusted that damn dog. Wait, 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 what do you mean? What's the point in flooding this room with rainwater? The culprit's goal was to secure their own alibi at the estimated time of death. This trick was necessary for that. Um, I don't get it. Can you explain from the beginning? Let's go over what the culprit did on the day of the crime. Oh, order. here we go. Breaking it down. First, the culprit mixed okay, sleeping mind. pills into the victim's dinner. Oh, damn. While the victim was asleep, the culprit proceeded to prepare the trick. Sleeping pills in his food? That reminds <laughs> me. Fucking Jared! My father did seem sleepy shortly after eating dinner. So interesting. <laughs> you're not you're not full of anybody. After dinner, the victim likely went to his room to lay down. <laughs> Jared's right, like, how can I kill this bitch? <laughs> the culprit then sneaked into his room and carried him out while he was asleep. Oh my god. That was how the victim was transported to this room. <laughs> Jared's just disassociating, yeah, right now. At this point. You're sure he was still alive? It's like, maybe if I'm quiet enough, they won't notice. They'll just forget I'm here. <laughs> I am very generic, so maybe they'll just forget about me. Of course. If the culprit murdered the victim earlier, then their alibi wouldn't have worked. The culprit had to murder him in such a way that would secure their alibi. <laughs> the preparations were done in this room. He's still doing that stupid pose. After bringing the victim here, the culprit used duct tape on the gap <laughs> in the door to weather strip it. Damn, that is one one handsome culprit. Why is he why does he kinda look like me? Weather strip. <laughs> What's that? It prevents water from leaking outside. What do you mean? Let me explain. After weather stripping the door, the culprit started destroying the fish tanks. The culprit likely covered them with cloth to dampen the noise. Okay. Once he smashed all of them. He leaned the victim onto the fish tank. The culprit then moved to the window on the veranda he... and weather stripped the outside of it. Why would he? God, Jaren, you're so fucking stupid. Why would you smash the one you're pretending to drown the dad in? And then like, why? Like, this is so like needlessly complicated. <laughs> like, you could have just given him the sleeping pills and then put him in the tank and then he drowned. <laughs> like that would have been so easy. But now you do all this taping shit, doing the gutters, drought, flooding the room, making the stain in there. Like, I feel like it would have been so much better just to do like a simple murder. Sleeping pills, shove his head in the tank. Like, did he just really hate the fish? The fish too. Like, what's the point of smashing them? Finally, they took the hose connected to the rain gutter. <laughs> And passed it through the vent to the. Oh my God! The room. You you surpass Icardi as the dumbest murderer. Preparations in place. <laughs> He's not the culprit doing it. left through the veranda and returned <laughs> to the mansion as if nothing had happened. Oh my God! Huh? Interesting. How does that complete everything? The victim was still alive at the time, right? When was he murdered? Oh my God! The victim naturally drowned after being left alone for several hours. Huh? How's that? <laughs> He's just feeling creative. This is a chapter three fucking murder. This is definitely a seesaw moment for real. Because even if he did just that, like they would still find him in the morning. And I don't know. I guess you could maybe do like, oh, the time of death is when Jared went to the bathroom or something. But still, it's just, this seems way stupider than doing that. Because I feel like she would honestly maybe think it was an accident, you know, if he just would have done it that way. Thank you, big chunk of meat buns. I like that these random DLC characters whose cases don't even last an hour have names, but not the chapter one characters. Never let it go. That is still so weird. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> the oh, the man. Hose flooded the room Thank God hours. Jaren got a name. <laughs> it's just so you know his motive is having that stupid name. The whole room was turned into a mist. fish tank. This time filled with rainwater. 
<laughs> Not surprising that the third DLC was the dumbest. This, god, it really is the, like, curse of, like, the chapter three. Even the third DLC is the dumbest mystery. <laughs> Thank you, Fallen Redditor, for being a member. And that is how the victim drowned. He could have just not smashed that one tank. <laughs> the whole room was flooded? <laughs> that can't be. Oh my god. The lies in the stained walls. <laughs> the day of the murder, the room must have been filled to that line. I know Halara is like, this is the stupidest fucking case I've ever had to solve. Rainwater <laughs> killed the victim? Oh my Correct. god. <laughs> Only in this city could such an approach be possible. The rain never stops in Kanai Ward. This <laughs> Dude, makes it easy to estimate IQ. the amount of rainfall to a certain degree. <laughs> so it is not impossible to create this alibi trick with some calculation. Oh my god. I think that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Wouldn't it take at least half a day for the room to fill with enough rainwater to drown the victim? I'm sure it would require more rainwater than usual to accomplish it. Which means you'd need to gather all the rain falling around this giant mansion. <laughs> the fucking DIY project just for this, Jared. <laughs> Thank you, Bree the Cookie Monster. What overthinking can do in spite of some cases. <laughs> For real, man. And thank you, Kua Upa. Jaren Curse of the Chapter 3 level stupidity. <laughs> this is a pretty dumb case. It is, I, do, I am appreciating the memes, though. I'm just gonna do that from now on. <laughs> Gather all of it. How? It would require slight adjustments to the rain gutters. Hmm. After that, the rainwater would flow to the veranda. just like, damn, that's crazy. Who would do that? Adjustments, damn. To the rain gutters. Oh, wait, shit. Oh my god, he finally, she's like, oh no, he's like, wait a second, I think, I don't know if you guys think I'm just being paranoid, but I think she might be on to me, just a little bit, <laughs> I think they might be on to me, just a little bit, just a little bit, <laughs> fucking Jaren. There will be plenty of water if all of the rain that pours <laughs> upon the mansion is I love that was what finally got him to change positions, huh. That explains how the culprit secured their alibi while drowning the victim. In the oh morning, god. Before the body was found, they removed the leather stripping and drained the water through the veranda. If you check the drain in the veranda, you should find dead tropical fish that were carried out with the rainwater. The culprit smashed the tanks beforehand to prevent rainwater from being stored inside. Oh well, god. that's how I would have done it. But maybe the culprit didn't realize that before they started draining the water. Maybe the culprit's just fucking stupid, huh? Seeing the fish tanks filled with rainwater, the culprit panicked and smashed all of the glass to hide. I like how they're not even doing gray, man. They're like, yeah, you know who did this. <laughs> they must have carelessly broken the one fish tank the corpse was leaning on in the process. I'm not even gonna try to trick you. Isn't that how it went? Jaren? <gasps> what? <laughs> No, not my boy! Not my boy! I'll be direct. You are the culprit. Damn. He would never. <laughs> Hold on. Is this some kind of joke? Oh, God, Jaren. You're even stupider than Mitch. Why would I kill my father-in-law? That's... That's stupid. It's crazy. But... You were fixing the rain gutters. A few days before the incident. But no, I was watching Netflix. You gotta believe me. Th that's because you asked me to fix them. <laughs> oh, God, are you for real? I don't know, man. I think I think this bitch might have done it. <laughs> you know, I don't want to say nothing, but she's got a gambling problem. How does fixing some stuff pin me as the culprit? <laughs> Literally made a hole in the gutter for the tube to go through. No, that's just coincidence, man. That's crazy talk. So you intend on maintaining that you're not the culprit? Of course! <laughs> then we'll have to ask our little friend for the answer. Nemo! <laughs> Bring that dead fish to the stand! <laughs> what do you have to say? <laughs> oh, it actually might be sugar. Come here, sugar. Let me get it. Sick him! Sick him, sugar! This is the rubber hose used for the trick. There are scrapes on its surface. I'm sure the culprit tried to dispose of it. Tying it into a knot before throwing it away. But our friend here found it for us. Good girl, sugar. Oh my goodness. Only the culprit has directly touched the rubber hose. Okay. I'm certain his scent is still on it. Tell us, sugar. 
Who do you smell on this? <laughs> Who are you smelling it? Who did the murder, Sugar? Sugar's always hated Jiren. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Arthur fist. <laughs> so, it is you. Yes, but <laughs> what's it? Jaren took inspiration from Troon Troon for his crime. He was like, what's your Troon Troon tutorial? How to murder somebody in the most stupidly complicated way possible. <laughs> this is complete nonsense. I won't accept it. If I have to, I'll kill all of you. Oh no, don't flood the room again, Jaren. Don't DIY the pipes again, no. Hey. Don't tell me that you're really- <laughs> Don't watch a Troom Troom tutorial. I uh, can't take it. I was so close. God! Getting all Jesus. That money. Here he goes. Oh, no! Not Yako! Why is it always Yako? Hey, why me? <laughs> For real. I can kill the woman anytime. I'll start off with you. Jesus. Damn you, detectives. This is your fault <laughs> for sticking your nose into my life. Can you handle oh this? Oh my god. I'm pretty bad at this sort of thing. <laughs> Poor Yakko. I don't know. Cost you another cat. Oh shit. Okay. Fucking get him. Oh damn. Oh damn. Do I gotta press anything? Ooh, slay. Slay, Alara. Yes. One hit KO. One kick! That's basically Alara. You saved me. I never thought it would be like this. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Oh my goodness. You guys sugar still. <laughs> You're not alone. Yeah. Huh? That's what she's saying. Sharon <laughs> <Jared> Oh <laughs> god. Come to us. Why can't Kadaka made a Nocturnal make a third case to save his life? Your service. <laughs> Even the DLC third case. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Jaren. Oh god, that was some Mitch level of mystery. <laughs> some Mitch level murder right there. Oh my god. Get a boyfriend with a better name. You should have known dating someone with a name Jaren. Uh, lose a man, get a dog. I know, sugar's precious. <gasps> oh my! It's Peanut! Oh my goodness! As promised, oh. you can keep that cat here. I knew you got Oh, so based, Alara, getting the orange cat too. And then just like Peanut! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I want to bring Peanut in here now, but he's probably going to be mad at me if I bring him in here. Oh my goodness! Oh my god, it literally looks just like Peter. He's got the little white chin, little white tummy. Got the little, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I don't need your help. Aw, Peanut was a stray that I found too. It really is just like Peanut for real. Oh my goodness, I love you so much. Oh my goodness. That's what the cat is saying. Aww. Come on, this cat thinks it's some sort of hard boiled detective. He's so cute. Well, I suppose I don't oh, mind. Laura's so based. This city is a difficult place to live. Even for the animals. Always, always knew you were the best character, Laura. Right. I hope we can keep solving the mysteries here to make the city a better place. And make it a nicer place for them to live, too. I sincerely hope so. You're so cold to humans. But you like animals. Mm -hmm. Are you teasing me? Animals are just so pure. See? There you go again, making that scary face. Seeing you play with the cat. <laughs> you look kind of cute. <laughs> cute. It sure would be nice to see more of that smile around here. Aww. <laughs> I hope you keep using your powers to change the city. I know you can do it. So cute. For their sake, too. That depends on the payment. <laughs> for peanuts' sake. Come on. My little guy. Well, how's this? Aww. Consider it the reward for this case. Can I at least uh, post a peanut picture later? <laughs> Since I don't know if I'll be able to bring him in here, because he'll probably get mad at me if I pick him up. He hates being picked up. He's so cute, though. I think, actually, I've heard that cats, like, you shouldn't actually give them milk. I think it's, like, bad for them. Yeah, maybe you could ask for permission next time. I don't know why that's such a, like, stereotype. Amy Ganesh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, my goodness. They got, they got the little toy, too. Oh, that's so cute. 
Oh, I love that. That was a good one. Well, good might be a strong word to use for that case. But there was a cat at the end and a dog, so... I, good case, good case. <laughs> oh my goodness, raining cats and dog. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just love the little, I got a little peanut cat too. That's so cute. Bro, the rainwater's getting in the milk. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I don't know if I actually saw Yako pour the milk. It's probably good though, since uh, yeah, I don't think cats are really supposed to drink milk anyways. I think it's bad for them. Okay, I might take a quick bathroom break, I guess, while uh, I, before I get to the next, the next one, which I think is, oh my God, Vivia's. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanna get a drink too, really quickly. Then we got Yako's too. Um. <clears throat> One second. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Might have unplugged something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I knocked it over. Damn. It wasn't peanut this time, at least. That should be an easy fix, at least. I think it's back for you guys, at least. Okay, cool. It's back for me, too. Yay! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good, 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 good. I, don't know. I, think it, I think it went out for you guys, too. But yeah, I want to take a quick, quick break. You guys can just uh, praise Jaren in the meantime. <laughs> And I'll get a, let me get the Baymax plush actually, since uh, since he's pretty cute. I think he's, oh yeah, there he is. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Okay, wait a second. Can I get him on the screen actually? Oh, he's so cute, look at him. I don't know if I can get him, how do I get him to show up on the screen though? There we go, put him right there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's so cute. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> He's only being picked up. <laughs> oh my goodness, say hi, Peanut. You're so cute. You're actually being pretty chill right now. Pretty chill, but I know you don't like it, so you don't have to stay here. Oh my goodness. Are you actually gonna stay in my lap? Peanut, that's so cute. Nope. <laughs> well, at least I tried. <laughs> I tried a little bit, at least. He's so cute. He's just a little guy. I'm sorry, Peanut. I know you don't like being picked up, but you're so cute. You're so fluffy. <laughs> Okay, let me turn the music back on too. Because like sometimes, usually he's cuddling with uh, my boyfriend when I'm streaming, but this time he was just chilling on the floor, so I was like, I'll bring him. He's just chilling there, so he won't mind being picked up just a little bit. Ain't that right, Peanut? Ain't that right? I'll give you some pets if you come here. Where's a cat? It looked just like you. <laughs> okay, we can do oh, Vivian time, yes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm glad you got to see Peanut too. He was actually really chill. Sometimes I pick him up and he acts like I'm torturing him. Then other times he's just like, he's just like 
chilling, <laughs> hanging out, <laughs> having a good time. I actually thought he was going to stay in my lap for a little bit. Oh yeah, trigger warning, you're right. Let me get that. I'll put the trigger warning in the title. And then I'll put like more, a more detailed reason why in the description later. Kind of like what I did, I think, last time. I think that's kind of a good way to go about it. Okay, there we go. Death is always awaiting me upon my path. I'm uh, assuming it's going to be sewer slide, though. Like trees neatly lining the roadside. Casting dark shadows at my feet. Even if I manage to overcome them and make progress down that path. When I turn around, the cruel truth is waiting there. The shadows are a procession to my own funeral. I have no idea what he's saying like half the time, but he sounds sexy when he says it. <laughs> That's all that matters. Die. Every human is nothing but a walking corpse. Well, here they kind of are, so you're kind of right on the money, actually. <laughs> I know you're just trying to be deep, but you know. And so, I too am dying in this mm. moment. He's so dramatic. Like that a foreshadowing to how this is gonna end. The near death detective. That'd be kind of cool to use his ability again too. What is this? Ah, what the? It doesn't seem to be moving at all, and the management company hmm. isn't responding either. Are oh, the elevators broken? They seem kind of familiar. It might just be that they remind me of Maki, I guess. I guess we just have to wait. If you wait long enough, everything will come to an end. Same <laughs> Vivian boyfriend ASMR, basically. Just as there is rain and season, a day will come when the sun doesn't rise. And when the Wonder. oceans dry up, too. Dude, Vivian's voice actor needs to do one of those, like, things. You know where you, like, pay people? Oh, cameo! Oh my god, Vivian's actor, if they do cameo. <laughs> I'll, like, request a, a boyfriend ASMR as Vivian. It's like, no, just say cringe shit. <laughs> hey, babe, you feeling sleepy? <laughs> Dude, even in Vivian's voice, I think I would still cringe. One day, you will die. And so will I. Oh, it's Maki's VA? Really? That's cool. Is that supposed to be a joke? How can you talk about death in this situation? I'm not enjoying this situation enough to make light jokes about it. I think I'd find things a bit more enjoyable if I wasn't trapped in here with you. <laughs> Girl, that's my dream. I apologize if I've offended you. I wish to avoid all unnecessary fights. Oh, that's crazy. That's so cool. Same it's Maki's VA. Uh, sorry I raised my voice. I'm not used to situations like this. Nor am I. We found something we agree on. Aren't you afraid? Afraid? Of all this? We're stuck in an elevator, hanging in midair. Yeah, that'd be really freaky. What if something happens and we fall to our deaths? I don't think I'm afraid. It's like, finally, thank God! <laughs> what if the elevator is never fixed and we're trapped here forever? Literally my dream. Then it'll be like a coffin. I actually think it would be rather cozy. I could just sleep here until I die. Oh, Vivia. What's with you and your death wish? It's not like I intended to have one. It's hard to describe. Thinking of death is like breathing to me. We didn't get any, like, I don't know, updates on his past. Do you find it fun to live like that? Isn't that what life is all about? There are things that I find fun. For example, I love reading stories. For some reason, 
I feel more alive when I can invest in a story's protagonist. I kind of feel that. Thank you, Carmen94. Maki, do you want to die? Vivia, yeah, yeah, actually I do. <laughs> they would get along, actually. I also love gazing at the beauty found in nature. Damn, we both Seeing agree with that. Seeing sway in the breeze brings joy to my heart. You sure are a strange one. Yeah, I want to know more about his past, too. Like, we've already learned, like, a little bit, but, like, it'd be nice to learn, like, more, you know what I mean? Am I? What about you? What makes you happy? Well, I suppose I like to observe life. Observe life? Oh yeah, he did have siblings too. I used to be a nurse. I've seen many lives saved and lost mm. at the hospital. I guess you can probably kind of sympathize with him with the thinking about death all the time. Life should be more precious than diamonds. But some people are treated more poorly than a pebble on the road. I've heard it's really hard to be a nurse, like, oh, that would be so sad, just being around, like, I don't know, people being sick all the time, and, like, I guess maybe you get used to it, but I, I don't think I could do it. Isn't that strange? A life is a life, so why should its value be different depending on the person? So now, whenever I look at people, I watch their lives, I wonder how valuable each life may be. You're also kind of strange. Am I? Speaking of which, I didn't catch your name. I'm Vivia. Who are you? I'm Rio. 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 I think we may have met before. Hmm. Do you remember? Weird. Let's see how they would have met if she lived here. I guess even if they did meet, it would have been her like real self and not her zombie, <laughs> the Milky Eye version. Oh, this is like a leading up to the elevator thing. Hey, Vivia. Everyone else is out on a job. How long are you gonna stay there? Honestly, I was really hoping in this DLC we would see more like Yako Vivia interactions. I really hope we do, because I feel like uh, Vivia seemed so like, I don't know, like he cared so much about Yako. So I was like, I want to see them together, like, you know, I'm just like getting along and hanging out and stuff. Until be I nice. die. You gotta be kidding me. Do I have to pull the pieces of you out of there once you're a skeleton? If you have free time, why don't you help work on some unsolved cases? Chief, do I look like I have a lot of free time to you? <laughs> yes. You look like you're so bored you could die. Look, just hear me out as a way to kill time. There have been a series of suspicious deaths lately. People jumping to their mm. demise from a certain building. Certain building. The first one was over five years ago. And people have been periodically jumping ever since. Mm. There's been over ten confirmed cases. Jesus. What's suspicious about that? What if it's kind of like the sewer slide? I mean, it's probably like a murder. But I could see it also being like the sewer slide forest, you know, where it's just like it becomes kind of like... I don't know, like a place that people go to to do that. They like, came across a building to jump other off people of doing when it. they happened to feel like dying. That's probably all there is to it. That could be true for one or two cases, but over ten times in the same spot? That's unusual, no matter how you look at it. Are you suggesting someone is pulling the strings behind the scenes? How long has he been going on? He said there was ten... People, did he say like five years or something? That is a long time to do it. We won't know until it's investigated. It'd be an absolute nightmare if someone is getting their kicks killing people and making it look like suicide. For the sake of the town's safety, it's not something we can ignore. That's where we come in. There's no point in investigating it. All we will find is boring reality. I so positive. No matter how boring it is, it's still reality. There's value in finding it. Detectives are such troublesome creatures. Aren't you one too? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a real one. I never do detective work, so you know. Huh? <laughs> Don't look at me all surprised. <laughs> Say what now? Why'd you come here if you're no detective? Aren't you here to solve mysterious crimes and help those who are lost? Uh. Bam, bam. I wonder why Vivia even did become a detective in the first place. Doesn't seem very passionate about it. 
It's only really passionate about like napping and reading. <laughs> That's basically it. Man, I want to see Worried Man. He was a real one. That was my man, my dude. He got me. He understood me like no other character before. No one else. He asked me why I came to this town. Monologue. I don't understand it myself. I'm not actively searching for a place to die just yet. Yet? I'm not here to be a detective searching for the truth. It's nothing so pure or sincere. The reason I came to this city was due to my impatience with living. Damn, he really is suicidal. What did I seek by coming here? What do I expect from this place? Yeah, there she is. Oh, shit. What the? That was a woman in a red raincoat. Did she just avoid that dying? That me. The chief did mention something. Huh. Around the building where the suicides occur. Uh. A suspicious woman in a red raincoat has often been Sussy! spotted. Sussy! Damn, I was about I'm to say she has too good of a name truth, to be a murderer. But I am interested in her. Hmm. I should try to tag along behind her without being spotted. Okay. <laughs> yes, I get to see that beautiful posture, baby! Oh, and the Naruto running, yes! Oh my god, I get the full perspective of the Naruto running. This is the greatest day of my life. Oh my god, you see this man on the streets. What are you doing? <laughs> get Naruto running in a circle. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my god. She does kind of look like a vampire, doesn't she? I was like, I think her jacket kind of reminds me of like Alucard, honestly. Oh, I love, I love seeing him run. It's so meme -y. So meme -y. Yeah, I think that's how I wouldn't say that. He could see people, like, who get, um... I think he see, like, people who get the, like, abilities, like, the special abilities being forced into being a detective. I could see that being the case, too. Kind of forgot about that aspect. <laughs> it's like, why is... Why is the Hunchback of Notre Dame following me? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe he's the nine-tailed cat. <laughs> he do be Naruto running. Okay. Calling <laughs> the police. You would call the police if you saw this beautiful man, Naruto, running in circles. Oh, damn, she, like, teleported. She's fast. Or maybe it's just because I was uh, running around in circles for, like, two minutes straight. That could be it, too. <laughs> oh, she's actually moving this time, too. That's cool. <laughs> oh. Okay, I gotta actually be stealthy. Looks like I've been noticed. Let's give it up for now. No, no, we can hide behind the pole. Okay, damn. Hopefully, I don't, that doesn't start me over. I was just kind of memeing. I was too busy watching him, uh, <laughs> watching him run. Honestly. <laughs> Even focus on following her or what the mini game was. I see. This is the perfect building mm. for dying. There a bunch of ghosts there or something? See, he can like, he sees dead people or something, right? Treatment of criminals. Criminals capture the peacekeepers are blah 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 blah. Punched in the balls. Immediately. Upon capture. We've met before? Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I was the weirdo vampire, you know, following around the city, hiding behind a pole. I don't remember you at all. Are you sure it was me you met? There's no mistake. You have that smell. Smell? <laughs> Just like, this guy's a weirdo. You smell faintly oh. of death. W what do you mean by that? That's rather rude. Do you live in this building? 
Sure, look at her eyes, too. I think it's like a heart, maybe? Or like thorns? Yes. All. Why? Or maybe it's just like a triangle or something. <sighs> like a diamond, From I mean. what I've heard, there hasn't been anyone living in this building for a long time. Who said that? Oh, was it the people around here? They probably have a grudge against this place. They say the building blocks the sun, or that it's sinking into the bedrock. Okay. What about all the people who have fallen to their deaths from this place? Bedrock? Is that a, is that a Minecraft reference? Is that nothing but a groundless rumor, too? Oh yeah, call her out, Vivia. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> but it isn't. It's fact. Even the newspapers have articles about it. Get her! If you live here, then you must have heard about it. <laughs> uh, is that mirror behind him broken? That's kind of weird. Many unsolved this cases like in the old city building have too. been completely left alone. Of course, this has nothing to do with me. I have no interest or desire to know the truth. I was just memeing about the Minecraft thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I guess they could be even in chat too, but they're trying to like actually uh, correct me. No, I know bedrock is real rock. I was kidding. I was kidding. However, I <laughs> am somewhat interested in you. <laughs> mm? Are you hitting on me? Oh my god, me? I'm mean, like, <laughs> oh really? Interesting. Well, nothing to do when the elevators crash, so we might as well just like, make out. It's whatever. I suppose you could take it that way. Oh. Okay. I see. <laughs> to be honest, I'm interested in you too. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? God, you're living my dream I'll right now. It's more that your life force makes me curious. <sighs> it's how do I mm. put this? Faint. Can she like uh, sense it? Cause she's like around dead people all the time. Worried man's in shambles. No, not worried man. <laughs> Thinner than paper. Almost as though I can see death waiting on the other side. Is he closing one of his eyes too? Like, I'm kind of speepy, actually. I could say the same about you. Hmm. Sheesh. This is a hassle. I guess I'll get to the point. You killed them, didn't you? They do kind of look good together. I did it. <laughs> what? You lured people from the city here and pushed them off the building. Making it appear like suicide. I'm not sure I see the purpose. Why did you kill them? There's no benefit in it for you. For fun. You wanted to see them die? Or did you develop a special interest in the value of people's lives? If so, that makes you a serial killer. It seemed like she was very sympathetic, you know, when she was talking about her job and stuff, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Me? A killer? Well, ain't that just the craziest thing? You know, her hair kind of reminds me of Celeste, too. Me, a killer? What? I would never. Well, then, I guess that means you're trapped inside an elevator with a killer. <laughs> that sucks for you. Strangely, I found myself in situations like this often. Whether I want it or not, death finds its way to me. Thank you, Bree the Cookie Monster. Weeby wants to take Rio's place so badly. Oh my god, for real. I do. For I do. I can't I can't lie, I do. You're not afraid. Afraid? No. It's more like observing from a great distance as dark clouds slowly spread out over the ocean. I don't quite get it, but it doesn't sound joyful to me. Though, you were like this from the very beginning. Truth be told, I can tell when someone has a death wish. Mm. Is that why she's killing people? She's just focusing on people who have a death wish? I sense their desire to go to the other side. Yes, you remind me of them. She's just helping them get there, I guess. <laughs> the other side. Did all those you lured here feel the same way? Lord? You're mistaken. I didn't do anything myself. I was just here. People like you happen to show up here. Then they depart to the other side on their own. 
the other side's really just them becoming a zombie too. <laughs> like the city next door. You really want to insist that you weren't involved? That all those who died came here of their own accord? Yeah, she is kind of like the Grim Reaper, isn't she? That's right. Aren't you the same way? Me? Perhaps. Very interesting interaction, for sure. For sure. Vidya's book catalog. No particular preference for genre. She'll never be the quartering duck. I miss the quartering duck. That was a good game. I want to die someday. And oh, perhaps Vivia. this is a fitting place for it. The view here is nice, don't you think? That's certainly an added benefit. God, two, two types of people in the world. Yaka's like, what a great view. And Vivia's like, oh, I want to die. Can I jump? <laughs> Hmm. Lord. The journey here wasn't easy, but things are just getting started. Vivia, let's save Kanai Ward. Together. That's not why I came to this city. Right. I'm counting on you then. Wait, 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 what did you say? <laughs> did I mishear you? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> it's not some kind of hero bullshit? I don't care what happens to Kanai Ward. And I have no intention to obey orders from the WDO either. I just want some peace and quiet. A calming place where time will gently pass by. What are you talking about? You're not going to find that here. Yeah, for real. The only place you can find perfect peace is heaven. And the only ones who can reach it are the dead. Wait, don't tell me you. Just leave me alone. I, I can't do that. We need your help. I hey! Vivia! Damn. It's good to see them interacting a little bit more. This new character is interesting too, Rio. It is kind of like, like a human Grim Reaper, I guess. I've always been able to see the dead. And what they tell me is always true. The truth has been exhausting for me. For as long as I can remember, even when I cover my eyes and ears, their voices continue mm. to whisper it to me. It's kind of like that guy from Code Geass. Please, be quiet. I think I remember him talking about No matter about how before, much actually. I beg for it, the calm will never come. Oh, yeah. Damn. Where's the perfect peace? It's found in death. Jesus, just move out to a rural area, dude. Ah, there's the look. Everyone who steps into this elevator has the same look in their eyes. They want to escape reality as soon as possible. They don't care where they end up, as long as they can get away. This elevator will take you to your desired exit. Hmm. One of them break the mirror before, too? The Jesus. To the other side. What is up with this girl and her obsession with it? And it's your job to see them off? You've seen so many on their way from here. It's like you are the guide to the afterlife. And it's like she can be like, oh, I'm just helping them or whatever. But it's like, girl, you're pushing them when they're like contemplating it. Like, it's not helping them. That's choosing for them. So what if I am? Aren't you similar? I can definitely see why this needs a trigger warning, too. This is definitely some really heavy themes. Hmm. Perhaps that may be true. Oh shit. It moved. Life is like is this elevator. Once it moves, it will not stop. I can hear them. Huh. She can hear ghosts too? Hey, Weird. Vivia, where are you? Ah, Yako! That's okay. Uh, I miss him. Hey, Vivia! Where are you? That voice. Aw, sweet. Do you recognize it? Oh. Uh, no. If you have any attachments in this world, I suggest you don't depart. Attachments? What is up with this lady, dude? If that's the case, why did you go to the other side? Is she a ghost? Huh? Kind of... 
Oh, maybe she is a ghost. The first of those who died was mm. a woman wearing a red raincoat. Okay, so she's a ghost who died and she's just like leading other people to their death too. It's like, girl, you don't seem happy in the afterlife. Like, why are you leading them too? Thank you, someone unknown. Vivia practicing corner strips in the fireplace. <laughs> oh, I missed the corner strip. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Her name was real. It was written in a newspaper article. Okay. Why do you still ride this elevator, even after death? Isn't it because you're still attached to this yeah, world? Yeah, I was like, wouldn't you want to go to like heaven or something? Unless you're not allowed. But, um, interesting. It does seem like she is still attached to this world. <sighs> and I guess the people who like, want to die that she was like talking about, they like, can see her because I guess they're like Vivia because I guess that might be like why Vivia can see ghosts and stuff too because he like kind of wants to go to the other side. I don't know. It's a theory. Who are you? You don't seem like an ordinary human. I'm a regular detective. I just happen to have one foot on the other side. I see. Still, you surprised uh, me. You knew I was already dead. I told you in the beginning. And you smelled of death. You did. You're responsible for stopping this elevator. Mm. Using some spiritual power. Or whatever. Interesting. You haven't been guiding the suicidal to the roof of this building. You've been stopping the elevator in an attempt to make them reconsider. Uh, aww. Aw, man. Oh, that changes everything. That's really the total opposite. Girl, why are you being so sussy before? Sure are a mean one. Man. You knew all along. Okay. I guess that makes sense, too. If you stop the elevator, it gives them time. Especially if they get scared of, like, oh, no, the elevator is about to crash. It's like, wait a second. I do want to live. Oh, man. That's sad. Did you try to save them? Yes. As I'm sure you know, I haven't been able to stop a single one. It does kind of seem like it was that thing I said at the beginning. Just, like, people kind of... Like, gravitating this place because it's like so many people died. They, I don't know, want to go there too, but a sweet she's trying to stop them at least. More than ten, and I've watched all of them go. That's why I think it's my fault. Damn, that's so sad. I wonder if she stopped anybody at least. Because I chose this place for my own death, yeah. it's become rather famous for suicides. I was just tired of living i wanted to go somewhere far away from this place wait a second okay like <laughs> i like the story is really sad and stuff but wouldn't she be a homunculus wouldn't she be um unless this happened oh yeah it happened five years ago so it's before the um okay never mind it's actually before everybody got homunculified okay never mind then but you so she actually it. is a real ghost yes that's why I always stop the elevator whenever someone comes here. So I can speak to them. But I've never been able to convince them otherwise. All I've done is provide some time to think things over. Ah, damn, that's so sad. Everyone who comes here has claimed none would be saddened by their deaths. Uh, I've never been able to get them to recant those words. That should be expected. After all, it is the truth. Everyone must overcome the death of others to keep on living. No one can remain in place and look back every time. Is that so? We're almost to the roof. From here on, I can do nothing to stop this. Please listen. Even if you get to the roof, don't step out onto the floor. Hmm. Why? Because they will try to take you. Oh, what the hell? Like, once you get on the roof, the other ghosts, like, take you or something? What the fuck? As long as you don't listen to them, you'll be able to shake it off. That's oh, because God. you're here to investigate what happened, not for your own death. Oh, my God. I don't know about that. The moment I got on the elevator, I think I made up my mind. Oh god, come on, Yaku! Yaku's gotta come save him, right? Oh, it's cool too, Hanana Hajime. At least she is able to comfort them before they depart, just like a nurse does. That's so sad, but really good uh, observation. No, you must be determined to survive. Otherwise, they will take you. Life 
and death. I fail to see the border between the two anymore. They both overlap. I can no longer tell which one is the real me. Then please, think of the people you will leave behind! Yeah, Yako! You must have Even though Yako's about to... Are you really to going to depart without saying farewell to them? <laughs> Man, it makes me so sad too that like, I feel like Yako was gonna save him and then Yako dies too later. There must be someone you'll regret not saying goodbye to. If I had someone like that, I wouldn't be here. I have no one. We need your help. I'm... <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so sad. Yako. Man, why did Yako have to die too, dude? It's not cool. Oh, God. After he saves Vivia too. Oh man. Isn't it cool to have a detective agency in a submarine? If you ever have trouble here in Kanai Ward, just come on by. The other detectives and I will always have your back. In exchange, you better watch out for us, too. What a pain. If you ever need something, let me know. I want peace and quiet. Huh? I want to be left alone. Oh, man. There's no way I can do that. We're pals, aren't we? Aw. Besties. <sighs> My heart, dude. Vivia, you've barely eaten a thing since you came here. You're looking kind of emaciated. I'm eating well enough. That's not for eating, that's for reading. <laughs> same thing. He's got somebody who cares about him. How could they be the same thing? Do you hate the food in this town or something? <laughs> <laughs> Double meaning. But I feel like, you know, like, uh, Vivia probably didn't have anybody care about him, you know, based off of what he said about his family. Like, Yako might be, like, the first one who's actually kind of like, you know, hey, buddy, you need to, you need to eat. Like, he actually cares enough for his well-being to tell him that. The hotel restaurants offer lots of different choices. I'm sure you'll find something you can eat. All right. Today's my treat. Let's go get dinner at a ah! restaurant. So cute. Why bother with all that trouble? I wish you'd leave me alone. I can't do that. I may not look it, but I can be pretty persistent. You told me one thing, so now I have to do the opposite. That's just how I am. <laughs> That's what made me the detective I am today. <laughs> Yako is so cute! Man, why did Yago have to die, dude? That's not cool. It's not cool, man. Helps Vivi out of his depression and then he dies. It's so fucked up. Hope Yuma and Vivia can at least be like close, but then Yuma's kind of doing his own thing in like GTA now. <sighs> Don't wish for death. At this rate, you'll be taken away. They're growing stronger. Each new one makes them more formidable. They will even take hold of the living. Oh shit. We've arrived. They're coming. Oh man. I wonder why these other ghosts are like making the people jump. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh man, that's creepy as hell. So death awaits me here. <sighs> I know you're going further. Any moment I'll be here. They are moving. It's almost as though they haven't noticed you. I was in his ghost form. Going ghost? So. They're only able to take away the living. Okay, so he's like half living, so that's why. Interesting. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Yako trying to save his other son, but I know Yako's the best, dude. Ah, uh, I'm so sad. Then you're also... I'm the same as you are. I'm a ghost. No way! However, in my case, my body still lingers in this world. Is he just in ghost form right now? She didn't notice? What does that mean? Who are you? I've already told you. I'm an ordinary detective. I just happen to have one foot on the other side. 
I decided to come here in my ghost form to try talking to you. And thanks to that, I can't be dragged out of here. Really? I don't quite understand. But you sure are a mysterious person. Oh man, that was pretty creepy. <laughs> oh man. But I refuse to let someone take me away from here. Damn. I honestly really thought he was gonna like try to jump and then Yaku was gonna save him or something. That is not the peace I desire. So you've reconsidered. There is no need for you to be imprisoned here. I think your atonement has been fulfilled. Yeah, can you like exercise her or something? Isn't it about time you sever your attachments here? I guess that was smart to use his forte and turn ghost before coming in here. I guess he already had like an idea of what was going on. <sighs> I want to remain behind. I need to ensure they don't take anyone else who comes here. Aw, she's sweet, man. I feel bad for her. Is as strong as you are. I'm not strong at all. I've just grown used to death. Also, will the elevator move again? Or is it stuck on the roof? Yeah, until someone pushes the button. Vivia! Are you there? That's oh, Yako. Chief Yako. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Literally like, clawing it open. Oh, the chief. He's not here. Oh yeah, I guess he's in his ghost form still. I'm at the wrong place. I thought he'd come here to investigate. Oh shit. Oh no! Is he gonna get taken by the ghost though? He took the stairs all the way to the roof to chase after the elevator. He must have been worried about you. <sighs> I've watched Aww. over ten people depart, but he's the first one I've seen come looking for the dead. Aww, so cute! You have a place you can return to. Perhaps that's the difference between us. Oh man. Honestly, I don't care for all the noise. I'm rather envious of your world. But you got Yaka. However, if you have a place to return home to, you should. Yeah. Home. Huh. And I find myself hesitating. I don't know which path I should take. Isn't it obvious? Yeah. Be with Yaka. Come video. on. Uh, Where did you go? I care about him so much. I'm dying. Uh, Please go back to him. So I'm sweet. sure he's waiting for you to return. Oh man, I think I kind of am shipping them now a little bit too. It's just so sweet. Uh, my heart. Uh, Yaku just cares about him so much. He's helping him. Why did Yaku have to die, dude? Uh, I'm so sick of this. Why? Out of everybody. Why couldn't it have been Tezuhiko? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tezuhiko. <laughs> but why did it have to be Yako, man? He's the best. He's like the best boy. Like, Vivia. He deserves so I much better, dude. For you. you had uh -oh. such a solemn look on your face when you left, so I had a hunch. Man, if you get into state, they can what help happened? each other. Now well, Vivian's alone again. I got a bit lost. <sighs> Getting lost at your age? Yeah, for you real, gotta... Yaku dies, but not Yomi. That's not that's some bullshit. Man, you didn't come to this city that long ago, so I guess that makes sense. Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. Let's go back to my awesome agency office. No. No hold hands. <laughs> uh, That's a really sad Death one, man. It's always awaiting me upon my path. Like trees neatly lining the roadside, casting dark shadows at my feet. Even if I manage to overcome them, 
make it to the end of that path. When I turn around, the cruel truth is waiting there. The shadows are a procession to my own funeral. Poor Vivia, dude. To live means to continuously die. Every human is nothing but a walking corpse. I guess now I might have more of a reason and to so, live. I too am dying in this Since moment. Since he met Yako, but I don't know, man. I just, I wish they could like, However, be together. As long as I continue to travel this path, I may enjoy some peaceful scenery. Is he watching Yaka? Oh, this is the beyond the truth. <laughs> Peaceful scenery and Yaka. The peace I desire can be found there. I cannot handle this. <laughs> Screaming, crying, throwing up, shitting. Like I just. Should have lived. He should have lived. Can they make another Amoculus of Yako for Vivia? Come on, come on. That was so fucking cute. That was so cute. Joy is a peaceful scenery. He's literally talking about Yako. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh god. Thank you, Hanada Hajime. Remember how Vivia had a purple umbrella during the epilogue? It's most likely to signify the hope Yako gave him as Yako reached out to him and gave him ah. Pain! I am shipping him now. That's so cute! That is so precious, dude. Ah, my god, why can't he live? I hate it here. I hate it here so much, dude. Oh god. So many, so many feels. It is yak over. Can we just make another Amoculus? Oh god. Now I want to die. Now you've given it to me, Vivia. <laughs> After your sad ass story, dude. Oh my god. Oh, this one's gonna be really sad too. A voice calls out to Yako as he walks in the darkness. Sweet but somber reminds him of that day. Oh god. Yako, I mean, like, I'm sure it was sad your wife died, but Vivia needs you! He needs you, man. He needs you. Oh god. That's gonna be really sad too. I can already feel it. Oh man, okay. <laughs> that was a really good one though. I think that one was my favorite so far. Of course, it was Vivia's. He's always the best. That one was really good, man. That one was really hitting me in all my emotions, man. Oh, what the hell? Is it the pod area? Kinda looks like it, right? Saw some pods. A zombie version? Oh no! Wait! Are we falling like a zombie version? In this story? Darling. Darling. I can't handle this! I can't handle this! I cannot. God damn it. I should have saved a funny one in between these two. This is too much! This is too much! Oh my god! Oh god. Just a moment to to center, to center myself. Oh my god, I can't handle this. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot, dude. I am thinking of like his past and the zombie form. I'm just I'm gonna cry. It's fine. I get to walk as him too. Can we just keep him in the submarines? <laughs> Can't he just stay in the submarine with Vivia still? I don't even know if this version, I guess, doesn't really remember uh, Vivia, but still. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe we're playing as his, like, homoculi form. Damn, that was not what I expected. I thought I'd be, like, him in the past. Oh shit. Yes, I'm Yuma. And Chief, you understand me? Oh, you don't understand Yuma? I'm dead. <laughs> Did he actually recognize you at all? I don't know if he can. Oh, 
Uh, well, don't worry. I'm the ultimate master detective. I won't cause any trouble for you. Okay, yeah, 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 he is the homoculi, so he did meet all of them, so he's still thinking about everybody, too, yeah. He really did seem to understand Yuma, god. We can fix him, guys. We gotta, we gotta find, like, the cure, right? There's gotta be, like, a cure. This is, like, a thing in zombie movies. You can just fix him. He'll be good. Have him as, like, a little zombie pet that in the office. On the payment. Man. Why'd you have to die, Yako? Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, oh, man. He probably can't feel pain now, at least. Oh, Darling. wow. Oh, wait. I think his wife, didn't his wife die actually before the, um, the homoculification happened, right? Oh, thank you, Yuki Kanjiro's. 13 months. What's going on? <laughs> Hell. Hell is what's going on. Oh, man. We're following Yako and his, like, homoculi form. He's, like, remembering everybody, and it's so freaking sad. Especially after the Vivio one we just watched. I don't want to spoil the Vivio one because it's so good. You should definitely watch the VOD. Now y'all laughing at him. He suffered enough. Uh it's like the light is triggering it. Please stay with us. God. God, that's so sad. Oh, yeah, too, because the light uh, always, like, burns them and stuff as well. That makes sense. It's kind of what seems to be triggering his uh, memories. God, that's such an awful existence to just be stuck here for all eternity, like, being reminded. I got a bit lost. No, not this scene! I... This, ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Not that after just doing that. Oh. oh my god. Kadaka, you will pay for killing him. At all. Oh, his wife, too. You will pay, Kadaka, for doing this to me. I just think I'm gonna go throw my phone. Literally me. I'm like, gonna throw my remote. This is uh, so hard to watch. It's not the best for him. I was like, it'd be nice if he could like rest in peace at the end of this or something. But I don't know if he can. It's probably too hopeful. Oh shit. I've been waiting for you, my darling. Is like her ghost, maybe? <sighs> I wonder if they're in pain, too, when they're in this state. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Oh, thank you, my detective. I wonder what the story, like, what exactly are we going to be doing in all of this? Oh, my God, this one's so painful, though. Like, oh, it hurts so bad. You can see why y'all told me to play these in orders now too. Like after, right after doing the Vivia one and then going, jumping right at this one. That is like maximum pain, maximum. Okay, thank God. Okay, we're gonna play as him. Oh, I was like, I don't know if I can play as him in the Moculi state. I'm gonna cry like for real if I have to see that anymore. I wanna help him though, dude, I'm I really sorry, do. I'm sorry, but I quit. Oh, wait. I promise I'll figure out some way to pay you by tomorrow. This is even before he became an homunculus, so I wonder if we'll see, like, because all the real humans, like, died beforehand and then got replaced with homunculi, so I'm guessing, like, his human version got reunited with the wife, at, le at least, right? <laughs> right? Please wait just another two days. Uh, no, no, a week. Wait for another week, please. I yeah, the sky is clear, man. That's kind of weird to see. It's not about the money. Take a look at this town. Everything's changed. Nobody wants detectives here. It's kind of weird seeing it, Sunny. <laughs> Just got such a, like, rain, sad aesthetic to it, you know? That's not true. The place has grown so big, it's just harder to see those in trouble. 
It's like, I want to at least think that, yeah, Yako, like, you know, human Yako's souls reunited with his wife, at least. There are many least. people in need of our help. Then Homoculi Zombie can be with Vivia. <laughs> Everybody wins! Where are they then? We haven't had a single customer for a month. If there's any trouble, just ask Amaterasu. They do everything, right? Why bother hiring a detective? But this is our town. If we don't protect it, who will? Our town? How long will you keep dreaming? This place belongs to Amaterasu now. But we promise we protect this town together! But protect it from what? Let the peacekeepers handle it. I hear that Amaterasu pays them pretty well. I'm hoping they'll interview me there soon. <laughs> this fucking dude. Yako, I... Sun code. I, I feel dead. bad saying this, but... <laughs> You should quit being a detective and find a proper job. <laughs> Sun code. What? You think this gig isn't proper? Oh yeah, he isn't wearing glasses. I feel like there's something uncanny about him. Yeah, that's right. In fact, I, I think you're out of your mind. Listen, you leave me alone from here on out. I don't want you dragging me down when I try to join the peacekeepers. It's fucking hey. dude. <sighs> I'm all alone now. I wonder if it's the glasses that make him look older, because I was like, he looks so young. It wasn't that long ago. Oh, whoa. Hey there, chief. Yeah. Uh. Some crooks or something? When are you gonna pay your rent? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn. He's not making no money. Sorry. I'm gathering the money for that right now. Mm -hmm. Poor Yaku. You said that last <laughs> Oh, no! No, don't touch him! And if you can't get me the money by today, I'll sell this place off to Amaterasu like I first planned. He's the perfect human. You're not allowed to hit him. They'll pay a lot better than renting it out to you. I understand. I'll do something about it today. Actually, could you wait until the end of the month? Not a chance. Ah, oh, shit. They do be looking like the Yakuza, don't they? Oh, man. Oh, God. So you can just kind of see. Oh, Yako's lifestyle. Complete night alley. Typically sleeps until noon. Just like me for real. <laughs> Always knew I felt a connection with you. Jeez. Yeah, here's this Are guy. Are you with the Nocturnal Detective Agency? Yes. I'm looking for this person. Oh. I'll put a down payment of 100000 if you find the target and bring her to me, it'll be one million. Oh, she's the target? How about it? That's how they met? Million? I'll do it. <laughs> Please give me this job. <laughs> Love the hell. The woman currently works at a lab for Amaterasu Corporation. Amaterasu again. That's annoying. Is there a problem? If so, I can find someone else. No, there's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw Amaterasu, am I right? Yeah, fuck those guys! Wonderful. Contact me once you find that woman. Understood. Um, just for my reference, what do you do with the gal once I find her? Mm. You'd be better off not getting too nosy. Yikes. I guess we'll see. A million covers six months worth of rent. Luck is back on my side. I better start on the job right away. We got a nice at least see a good memory with him, like meeting his wife. It's like, it's always assuming it was gonna be like, you know, when she dies or something. <laughs> Look at that little run. <laughs> little prissy run. <laughs> Yako snagged a 10. He is a 10. He is a 10 and he snagged a 10. King, king shit. Yako's lifestyle. Even when there's work to be done, nocturnal lifestyle was the norm until the master detectives arrived. I guess it is a nocturnal detective agency. I was watching her. That's the woman. Are those the glasses he wears? <laughs> Gonna. <laughs> Oh, his glasses were hers. I'm gonna freaking, dude. I can't handle this game anymore. <laughs> this is, oh, this is so painful. It really does look like the glasses that he wears, though. The like blue kind of circular ones. 
I guess he never really weared them like normally either. He's kind of had them like kind of falling off his nose. <sighs> Doctor. Uh, excuse Girl, me. What's she doing? <laughs> Staring out into space. What nice <sighs> weather we're having. <laughs> It's raining? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I like the rain. <laughs> it's so fucking awkward. <sighs> Fine, here's the truth. I'm a detective. Someone hired me to search for you. Ah, uh, got it. Damn, she's so chill. I think I know why. I probably know your client, too. So, are you going to contact him? I'll go right now if you want. Wait! Damn it. What am I doing? <laughs> I should have just called the client right away. But she's so dreamy. He couldn't let, he couldn't let that happen to her. Because they were definitely gonna... They're definitely gonna kill her. Um, who is my client? He didn't seem like the usual sort. I, uh... I work as a detective because I want to protect the city. I can't work for him if he's a criminal or something. Yeah, he's like, you're too hot to be evil. You know, actually, the thing about it, she kind of reminds me of Yuri from DDLC. I think Yuri even has, like, she's got, like, the purple hair, and she has a sweater exactly like that when you, like, you know, go to her house to do, like, the school project or whatever. <laughs> even if he's my client. <laughs> Are you laughing? Hey, I'm dead serious about my job. Sorry, I was just contemplating how your head must be full of rust. <laughs> Damn. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, so, uh, we're going steady now, right? It wasn't one. Well, I suppose an antique has its own charms. Antique? Your client is from our lab's rival organization. He's probably a headhunter. It's not uncommon. I get offers like this all the time. Some try more forceful methods, such as hiring a detective. Okay. Oh, because you're a researcher at Amaterasu. That's right. To be honest, it's not that great of a place. My boss is an ass, and my colleagues are all depressed. <laughs> Damn, just airing out their dirty laundry. <laughs> Look at this, their when first their date. That's well, so cute. They yell and throw mugs at me. Jesus. Just the other day, <laughs> Literally turns into a anyway, date. Anyway, if my research is successful, it'll open a whole new field in regenerative medicine. It's still ongoing, but so far, it can repair nerve cells by simply ingesting medication. Do you understand how incredible that is? Do you see? She's so smart. Y yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about all this. Are you really supposed to tell me what you're researching? Yeah, no, totally got all that. Uh, did you know you're pretty? Shouldn't that stuff be kept secret? I'd really love to avoid <laughs> getting dragged into a weird mess. Oh, no. Well, whatever. Just <laughs> make sure you don't tell anyone else. <laughs> oh, shit. I kind of forgot about that part. <laughs> she really do be spilling the tea. You should be good at that if you're a detective, right? Of course. Well, then, will you also keep quiet about where I am? Yes, of course. Wait, hold on. <laughs> You're asking me to lie to my client? That's entirely different. How so? You could just say you never found me. This is my job. It'd be one thing if he was a criminal or something, but a headhunter. There's no reason for me to keep quiet. My livelihood is on the line. A million. A million is on the line. And I say I don't like it. Can't you respect my wishes? Can you respect my wishes? <laughs> Please be like, well, if you, uh, let me take you on a date. Granted, he's town. got no money to take her on a date. You said you wanted to protect us. So why don't you start with protecting me? Well, uh, hold on. I work for Amaterasu because I'm from this town. I wanted to stay here, so I chose to work for them. I don't want to go anywhere else. If you're uh, I wish you here, would. Then you should feel the same way. Uh, I just want to tell y'all both to move. You were born here as well. Will you really sell me out for some cash? Or will you protect your fellow citizen, born in the same town? Which the part guilt is trip. your real work, Mr. Detective? 
<sighs> I knew I shouldn't have. He's such an upstanding guy. After hearing all that, is there any possible way I could sell her out? Yeah, I was gonna say if he really wanted the money, he should not have talked to her at all. Is that something a detective would do? All right, I'll leave you be. But you said you're not happy at your current workplace, yeah? Oh, Yomi joined Amaterasu five years ago? We might actually see him. In that case, that'd be wild. I think you should really consider his offer. No matter what comes my way, I have no plans to change my mind. I love this town. Oh, God. Oh, man, it's so hard to watch this knowing what happens. Yeah. I also love this place. That's why I work as a detective. Damn it! <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh, shit. Y Ooh! You're yikes. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Oh, is he just I tailing him? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Get out of here now! Oh, my God. Was he tailing Yaka? How did he find so fast? You bastard! Shit! I won't let you have your way in this town. I'm the only detective Kanai Ward's got. You got that? Damn, you're really gonna pull a gun at her? <laughs> pull a gun out on her at Starbucks, dude? <laughs> Good lord! I know it sounds corrupt, but Jesus! <laughs> it was wasting no time. Not like, hey, wanna meet me in the alley or nothing? Just. Right as she's drinking her mocha, Jesus. Guess this is the last chance I'll have uh, to enjoy the scenery. Ah, Yako. <sighs> Shit. Oh, oh, it's her. I That's the nice. Agency was here. Are you okay? You're hurt. Do I look okay to you? I'm hurting all <laughs> over thanks to you. I lost my pay. And now I'm being forced to cover the damages to that cafe. Maybe she could help. She's like a researcher, so she's probably making a lot of money. All my friends are gone. I have nothing left. Well, um, I'm sorry. Why are you here? The client's long gone. I have no business with you. Why do you insist on being a detective? Even if you're doing it for the city's sake, aren't you getting tired of it? When I was a kid, I'd gather with all the neighborhood kids and play detective. I loved it. He's such a good dude, man. I made matching badges for my friends and we went around patrolling. I was so proud to wear it on my chest. I let it get to my head. I said, our group of detectives would protect this town. It's been decades. But I still can't bring myself to lie to Aww. my childhood friends. Damn. Kanai Ward is going through some major changes. All the more reason why we need detectives here. So, I've decided to continue being the only one. Man, he's so upstanding back in uh, this time, too. It's kind of sad to see how much he changed by the time, like, Yuma and all the master detectives arrived. Because, I mean, like, he was still a detective, but he was kind of, like, just more so trying not to step on the peacekeeper's toes, you know? He was just doing, like, very minimum, like, minimum task in order to avoid it. Whereas here, he seems like he's, like, you know, ready to stand up for justice and everything. But, gosh. You haven't grown up at all. I think he just gave up hope then. Oh, what the hell? That's. Oh my, are y'all childhood friends too? I'm Thanks gonna. Thanks for protecting me earlier. You know, more people may be coming after me. So I'd like to make you an offer, Mr. Detective. Okay. How would you like to work as my bodyguard? Maybe he just left that there. Aw. So cute. Thank you, Lucky Cat Luna, two seven zero three. The rain is, the rain and raincoat is our tears. I know, right? Oh man. Uh, oh no, not back here! Oh god. <laughs> I need a second to, to center myself. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Oh uh, god, the pain. 
The pain. Was it really like childhood friends to lovers? Oh my god. The pain. The fucking pain. I knew this day would come. Thank goodness for my research. This medicine can regenerate nerve cells. Oh my god. It's Please. still in development. Please. Please. But I suppose I can leave a sample behind. Please, girl. I don't know what you are if you're a ghost or whatever, but save him! It might be completed if someone takes over my research. It may even regenerate zombified brain cells. Please, God, please. There's not much I ask for in life, but please! Please bring him back! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Literally in there. Take it, take it. Please. Please, God, please, Look God. Look at you. Protecting me. Thanks. My sweet detective. You've done well. If the medication doesn't help, maybe you'd feel better if you saw me again? Hmm? Oh my god. <sighs> oh no, not the tears! I'm, oh my god. I'm crying. I'm crying. To take it, or is he just gonna want to be with her? I don't know. Please, I want him to take it. I want him to be back. I want to see him in raincoat too, if there is one. I just want to be with Vivia too. Okay, it's a flashback still. Unless it's him, like, joining her in the afterlife. I wouldn't be shocked. Ah, uh, I think so, yeah. I think so. I don't think he took the pill. Damn. Damn, that was so sad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was difficult. That was painful, man. But it was so good. That one and the Vivian one are both so good, man. Those are definitely my favorites. It's kind of hard to choose one. They're both just so freaking good. Man, I guess it's like kind of open-ended, but like also I feel like the fact that they showed the flat, like, you know, the his past self with her and this like glowing version of the city, it makes me think, yeah, he decided to go the afterlife with her. It's like, can he at least be at peace? Like, just some, some kind of good ending for him, whether it's being at peace or coming back to life. I just want something for him. I just want something, <laughs> something for him, you know? Oh, man. I like to believe he took the pill slash slapped. I don't know. I guess we could find out if there is a sequel, but I think he probably just went on to be with her, to be honest. God, that was so fucking sad. That was really good, though. Yeah, I really enjoyed these sub stories. Besides, uh, what's his face? Fucking Jaren. <laughs> Besides Jaren, everything else is great. <laughs> I appreciate the memes, though. I do appreciate the memes. Oh, yeah, Yako has a novel, too. I forgot about that. I wonder... I guess I could maybe read that for a stream or something. I think he did that. I think I saw that she did that. So maybe that would be fun for another uh, stream. Yeah, I wonder I wonder how that is. I'll have to look that up and see where I can read it and stuff. At the very least, I'll read it on my own, but it could be fun for a stream, too, just depending on uh, if you guys would want to read that together. I guess the only bad thing is uh, it could be kind of nice, I guess, if I did it like, for an edited video so I could put more graphics on the screen so it's not so boring. Because I feel like it might just be kind of boring if I'm just reading on stream i guess i did do the fanfic before but eh. <laughs> man these are really good i really enjoyed this i do kind of wonder if we'll get a sequel honestly i think kadaka seems you know pretty proud of this game i think it sold well and stuff too and uh i think it was a good successor to the danganronpa you know danganronpa series so i feel like i'd be happy either way if you got a sequel for this or if we got a new dang and grandpa but i kind of doubt we'll get a new danganronpa at this point but that was super good i enjoyed it a lot <sighs> It would be nice to see more of Yako for sure. I love him and Divya. Just, they have my heart, man. My whole entire freaking heart, dude. Uh, both of them are just wonderful and perfect and amazing, and I would die for them. But yeah, um, thanks guys for coming to the stream. Um, I'm not totally sure what I'll stream next weekend. Um, I guess I could always do the Yako thing. I'll just think more if I want to do it for like a video or if I want to do it for a stream. 
I'm not totally sure yet. I kind of was thinking about making a video, just giving my opinion, like a review on this and kind of like giving my thoughts and how I feel like, I feel like it is a good successor to Danganronpa. So I'm just gonna talk about my overall opinions of it. And I think it's been pretty popular, but I could still see a lot of people who are really into Danganronpa not giving it a chance just because it's not a death game. But I feel like more people should give it a chance if they're not. So I was thinking about doing that, but um, I have a few games I wanna play. There's obviously Ace Attorney. I haven't played Ace Attorney in a long time and I do miss it. So I'm like, I can always play that starting next week. I think I'm most likely gonna drop an escapable. I don't know, I just I keep seeing more and more reviews being like, oh, I'm on day 180 and nothing's happened besides like somebody threw a drink in my face or something. I'm like, ah, I'm good. Like, if I wanted to watch Total Drama Island, I'd just I'd watch it or I'd just play it in my free time, you know what I mean? I think there is some stories where people can die, but it was so slow moving when I was playing it. And when I got to like day 15 and we were like dying in the chat, we were like day 15, give it up for day 15. So I don't know if I can play to day 180 or whatever and survive. But um, yeah, so there's Ace Attorney. I do want to play Slay the Princess a lot too. I really want to play that game. I know it's kind of different for this channel, but um, I did do a stream of the demo and that was pretty fun. I think I'd probably just play it from the beginning too because that stream got age restricted. And then there's also a Raging Loop, which is like a Danganronpa Zero Escape inspired game. And it looks really interesting. And I've heard a lot of really good things about it. So I feel like if I'm going to do a death game, then maybe I should do that one. Or I guess there is still some Danganronpa fan games I'm kind of interested in, like um, Rampa and Friends and Danganronpa 69. Um, and there was the Walking Dead series, which my mods really enjoy too. And um, yeah, there's Somnium Files too. I just feel like, I don't know if people really. I don't know, enjoy it? I mean, like, I think people did enjoy me playing the first Somnium Files, but I think, uh, I feel like the streams didn't do as well as, like, uh, some of my other ones. I guess, granted, I was more, like, newer at streaming. It was before, like, um, I got a boost from doing, like, uh, Danganronpa and others, so maybe people would like it. But, um, yeah, I might do a poll, honestly, if I can't decide on my own, <laughs> so keep an, keep an eye on that. But yes, Slay the Princess looks so good. The reviews for that one are really, really good, like, overwhelmingly positive, and I remember really loving the demo. I remember, like, thinking it was so, like, unique and in interesting. I think the only bad thing is it's pretty likely that I'll get age-restricted, but I think as long as I put the chat on screen and I just kind of edit out, the age-restricted stuff, then I think I should be okay to stream it. So I was like, I think it should be a good idea, but I'll think about it. We'll, uh, I'll think about it and we'll regroup next weekend. Um, yeah, and Escapable has like one thing happening every five hours. <laughs> so sad, dude, so freaking sad, dude. So sad, but yeah, Rain Code was great. I really enjoyed it. I'm really glad to see Kadaka thriving with another game, especially one that, uh, you know, takes a lot of the good aspects of Danganronpa and expands upon it, so. Very enjoyable game, and I will cry for Yako every night for the rest of my life. But yeah, thanks guys for um, coming to the stream, and yeah, I will see you guys next weekend, and I should have a video going up later this week too, so look forward to that. But yeah, I appreciate you guys, and I will see you next time. Let me get my outro going. Bye!